Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our adventures here in Mass Effect 2. Last time, we got our assassin, and mostly, I think, just walked around Ilium. Because it was big and I was poor. I still need to go back, because we need to get our Justicar there. Ah, next time I actually see it in here. Oh, another dangerous alien aboard, Commander. <laughs> Thanks. Why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something? And how are things in the I cockpit? I assume everything is going well up here. It was until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. <laughs> Harmless. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pow. I win. Joker. <laughs> right, right. No hard feelings. Good game. <laughs> Joker's such a funny man. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Joker is such a joker. That's why he's called Joker. But yeah, we are going to go back to Ilium. I'll just make sure anybody say anything you? today. Is there anything I should know? No. Good, anything good. Else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Even if you just come here to ask me how everyone else is doing. All right. All right, I don't know why we're out here. We were just on Ilium. I guess we had to get far enough away because we were a part of an assassination. But, yeah. We're gonna go get our just a car and do side things, check out various things, and we only have two recruits left. Well, we're, I'd say we're decently into the game, so who's the last one gonna be? Yeah. Come along, my my friends, or as the game calls you, henchmen. I don't think it accepted my helmet. I am angry now. My helmet! Or maybe be- Oh! Or maybe it just- No, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Alright. I'll take that. Aha! Yay! I still have my helmet. I've just grown a liking for helmets. After wearing my super duper scary armor for so long. I am gonna miss my lighty up mouthpiece. Skin looks amazing. You're not using biotics to touch things up, are you? Actually, I just tried Exeter, new exoderm moisturizing cleanser. <laughs> moisturizing cleanser. Dang it! Run away, you bastards! Give up your colony plans. They're all so crazy. You're making money off people's fears. Well, let's see. We still don't have a lot of money. Because, let's see, I don't I think we have anything says, in the Eternity Bar. Eh, we might as well go there to see if there's anything you. popping up, just in case. We'll go turn in the stuff we got from our assassination plot. That little data pad to the guy that's just talking. On his phone call. Slave broker, huh? I'm gonna come and kick your ass. We'll figure something out. Stop worrying. It's okay. I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello. Can I help you with something? Free your slave. Now. I need you to let that slave go. Now. We prefer the term indentured <laughs> servant. And I know that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced against slavery. Even beyond that. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily, and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Hmm. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the Quarian? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Why did this Quarian sign herself into slavery? Let's get all the information. The stock market. 
I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. Get the picture. So, As part big of cavalcade of terror. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. I don't buy it. Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. All right, no at least that's perfect, not terrible. Safeguards are set up to protect all you know, in this terrible situation, I'll try to help. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Excuse me, I'm waiting. And now I just need to find where the insight rep if you're is. Hurting for things to do. Maybe after work you could catch a bit or something. Oh, that's sweet. But I'm okay. A little dry spell of communication. That guy is trying so hard. <laughs> I do quite enjoy the background conversations. Yo, dude. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I found your data. I overheard you talking. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Hmm. Why were there no backups? If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A ah. rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. <laughs> we live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? And why is it a matter of why all? Why is this data so important anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Corosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. Huh. It would be like a human pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have so it's another cultural for thing for these alien people. It. All right. Well, I'm glad to have. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Excuse me, you know where I can find Serena? She's not here anymore. Oh, you're the one she was helping out. She took a job off world. Didn't say where. Huh. She gave me something for you. Looks like a message. Hmm, thanks. I'll listen to it later. Oh, sure. See ya. Yeah, listen, to delete recording. <laughs> hey Shepard, I was on my way to a new life when the new burst arrived. The bitch is dead. I assume that means your friend is alive and he finished his job. Tell him if I ever see him, I'll buy him a drink. What why you just be like delete the message from the get go? <laughs> why would anyone do that? I am role playing the most massive dick. I'm gonna go buy those star charts before I forget. No, maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Wow. You know, Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. Star charts, star charts, give me all of these star charts. I heard she lost her daughter to the Gap attack. Right. I'm sure she was a pleasure to deal with before that. And that just gives me more places to go exploring. Oh, hey, a secure station. I shall hack you. All right, let's see. Boop. Mm, close, but no cigar. Mm -hmm. ba -ba. So, orange, green, with a little purple in between. Oh, there we are. Somehow I missed the blue.
Maybe a shirt or a card. Helium. So this is what these hey, things are. Shifting already. That's funny, right? A sorry skin color and the Doppler effect. Dad, just get her anything. Or don't. <laughs> That is way too expensive for a fish, if you ask me, but I will grab these ships now. I need to get her something. A memento. It's just we're looking for weapons. Should Amplifier we plates increases power damage. That's all my money. But it would increase I don't really use the submachine guns except basically I go sniper rifle, power weapon against big things, and then pistol in a pinch. Oh well. I'll save up my money. But where is the synthetic insight? Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally at my Hey, we're friends. I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy growing up for a I did some stupid things to get so away from the Maybe in shipping and cargo? No, there's not there. Where is Synthetic Insights? Where are the Synthetic Bastards? Because it's not like we can just go to Novaria. At least I don't think. I assume that they're gonna just be here. Maybe it'll say in the actual journal. Talk to SI rep. Yeah, but where the fuck are they? You should try. Two years after a Geth attack nearly destroyed it, the colony of zoos. Ho 25. Cell at 25. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Discipline. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. It's just more civilized. Where is the Synthetic Insights rep? I thought I looked everywhere. Another reason I like wearing helmets, it makes the weird head glitch where I'm like, I want to look over my soul shoulder Aren't at all times. Where is the SI rep? Where is the SI rep? Nothing showed up though. Don't worry, our contract is a Batarian gentleman named Anto. He's one of Area Talok's flunkies. But we're keeping his palms well greased and he should offer us safe patches to the systems. As long as we stay beneath Area's notice, we should be fine. So, um, I wonder if I should bring that to Arya. Can I help you with something? Hmm. The slave broker sent me. I know a slaver who'd like to sell you the service contract for a Quarian programmer. Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. Hmm, this could be good business. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this quarry would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you You free it? her! Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the quarry and garnish wages for reimbursement. I know the migrant fleet would be grateful, and more likely to make purchases from you. Interesting. We look good for hiring a quarian, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. 
All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This quarian had better be good, though. Hopefully. I'm just here to save people. Yo, monster. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. No problem. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. That was a weird conversation quest. But at least I got Paragon. And I think... Considering that all that's left, I think, is like, Hey, to Sony, you want to go do DLC things? Which I'm saving for later. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. But now, we'll head to the taxi, because I think we can use it now. And probably be able to go get our just a car. At least I think that's You'll how you say it. You'll never believe what happened. I've got the data. Don't ask, just call it a gift. <laughs> Don't ask, just call it a gift. Another difficult development for human expansion as the colony on Horizon has been attacked. The council has suggested that the attacks are a tragic coincidence. I Likely didn't mean... the result. Okay, look, I'll take another look at the contract. Maybe it's I'm telling you, relax. Bax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse marks some just a How do I get in? God damn it. Is ever going to see the extra taxi. Which is I need a taxi. How do I get in there? It says taxi stand, but I can't use the fucking taxi. All right, I just want to get dossier. So I did on Elysium outside normal Asari space, but how do I, I assume because considering that you're here, and you're like, oh, talking about thing, just a car, and then I can like do a thing for you. I'm on a call. Hmm. Huh. Trust me, the that. goods coming in from the terminus. Maybe I can talk to you now. Business. I don't know. Some of them. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or nah. did she kill somebody already? I only want to talk. Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first <laughs> Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Hmm. Worries about Samara. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. Yeah. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Concern about aliens. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human, alliance flips their do you shit. think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. <laughs> it's a big diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. And Justicars Tell in general. The Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. The Most code. of them are on some lifelong mission. The but Konami they're always code. stopped to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Who governs them? Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they So it's basically literal crusaders. Goes. Well... Where did she go? I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at oh. the commercial space. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on I that balcony I shall go hail a cab. There. I keep in my team with nothing but aliens. Then again, I don't have an Asari with me. So we're all aliens to her. 
still annoyed that my renegade slowly grows, but I am happy I'm like, let's see. Huh, this is weirdly placed, so this is kind of like 50. Hmm, so maybe like 20, 40, 60, 80, and uh, 100. So we're probably like around 70%-ish Paragon. Works for me. We're gonna go in. They're arresting a vault. Oh no, those might be bodyguards. Where do you think you're going? <sighs> I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. Lol. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. <sighs> I had nothing to do with that. <sighs> it was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. <sighs> the victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. <sighs> what about that Justicar that just showed up? <sighs> Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. You gonna throw me under the bus? I love the look of my mask. Talk to the locals. Solve the murder. I forgot we don't get actual goddamn maps in these areas. You. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough. Some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Hmm. Do you know where she is? Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Hmm. Partner's murder. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. Crime details. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. Yeesh. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. Tell me about the Mercs. I've killed my fair few, but what's your opinion? You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them. But only in well-lit places. With my guards. And Your intangible gun butt <laughs> this vanishing is a guards. Bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand. All kinds of illegal items. And they are all cold-blooded killers. And finally, any kind of murder motive? Why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. Good day. Stay safe. I should go. Turian Worker. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse Sisters run this. Eclipse area. Sisters. Spaceport official. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. I want to be a Crusader when I was young. Take back the Holy Land. We even get a weapons locker in here. Detective. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. Not score. I need her help. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. We've got that covered. <laughs> if you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. Hmm. You want to get rid of her? You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But 
Her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Don't follow that Your order. superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. We can disobey suicidal orders. <laughs> Why wasn't I told? That's about twice a day. <laughs> My reasons are good. Most of the time I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. Well, give me the direction. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse Mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. Hmm, crime scene. He mentioned a crime scene. Volus Merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse Mercenary Band. Can't prove it, but if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. The mercenaries. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse Mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. And finally, the what Justicars. What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of... Humans might call them warrior monks. They live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of Asari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. Opinions on Samara. I mean, she did say that Samara would kill her if she tried to take her into custody, so maybe a little bit of fear. What do you think of Samara herself? She's been a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. Eesh. So it's like, even more insane crusaders. I have to go. Good luck. We better find Samara before the detective goes after her. Or before the just a car goes after someone else. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Let's see. Area. Let's consider this extra stock surplus. Ship the rest of facts at his normal destination. He'll never miss a few lost pieces. Up, well, let's head into the darkness. Ooh, scary. Gotta love high pain job work. Plus, I also play stupid, so that also contributes. But it definitely appears like they have something going on. Lol. Those were my best troops. And she's a Justicar. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. Utterly horrifying. What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! 
Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or hmm. foe? You killed in cold blood. That Merc was wounded and helpless. Do you just kill anyone who won't help you? If my cause is important enough, yes. Are you different? Yes, I am. I've killed enemies, but always with good reason. I answer to a code that is clearly defined. If my actions are true to that code, I am just. If they are not, I am unjust. I don't pretend it is a simple matter, or that it seems right to everyone. But I sleep well at night, and that is more than most can say. How may I be of service to you? I need you on my team. I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. Shall we help? I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Hmm. Maybe I can help. Well, what just happened? Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. I am afraid so. Well, maybe I can help. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Hmm. Justicars. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some... Ah, murder nuns. Sorry space That's right more accurate than Crusader. ...the ancient code we have each memorized. Change of heart. A moment ago, you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. <laughs> I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. Makes sense. And finally, strict code. This just a car code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Well, where should I start? Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. I deal with a lot of crazy bastards. This time, don't I? Well, fuck, where'd he go? Was that... Torian worker. I hear you can buy red sand from the eclipse. Just oh, across I thought your guard. Wh where is your guard? Why do you not have your guard, Pitney? Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Start talking. Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant trying to make his way in life. Work with me. The Eclipse are out for your blood. I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? Yes. <laughs> You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. 
I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. Hmm, chemical. Tell me about this chemical you brought in. It's called Minogen X3. And it's very, very, um, illegal. Anyone with biotic powers who is exposed to it becomes more powerful. The higher your exposure, the more powerful you get. But too much of it, you die. That's the part that the Eclipse found disagreeable. Merc base. You've been in the Eclipse base. What do you remember? It's a series of docking bays where the Eclipse keep their private ships. They're well armed and they've got mechs. I hate mechs. And they're all murderers. Every one of them kills someone as part of their initiation. <laughs> you brought this on yourself. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. <laughs> but I haven't survived as a merchant this long without. Hilariously, he's honest here uh, about his dishonesty. You I, want something. I need a ship name. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I <laughs> happened to make a copy. Take it, <laughs> but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. I'm even more dangerous. Are you telling me that the elevator to the Eclipse hideout is right next to the goddamn police station? <laughs> This is amusing and silly. How do we get into Al Capone's base? We go through the bathroom of the police station. Look out! Guard dogs. Well, we're probably gonna run to literal guard dogs. Max is here. Dang it. However, concentrate. In exposure will cause severe tissue damage. I recommend One down. Hostiles engaging. So these are all high level equipment. Dang it. Fire. I am a failure. Mm. I gave it a failure for not giving me my reload. Scimitar Assault Shotgun. Weapons Crate. I heard you, idiot. I would not be a friendly face to see. I am wearing a creepy hood. Tended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. And what are you doing I'm here? I'm not one of them. I knew. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You had to 
kill to get your suit. Is what they said. That was a weird thing. All right, tell me about the mercs. What do they do here that you don't like, Eldora? I thought we'd be flying around the galaxy shooting up bad guys and stuff, right? But no. They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. Ardat Yakshi. What does Ardat Yakshi mean? It's an ancient Asari word for something that... I thought was just a superstition until now. It means demon of the night winds. I didn't think they were real, but the boss said this scary lady was one. Ship name. What ship did they use for the smuggling? Wow, I have no idea. It was a few days ago, and like I said, I'm new. They didn't tell me anything. What do they do here that you I don't thought like? We'd... But no. Well, they just sell red sand and illegal. Get out of here, here Elnora. If you so much as jaywalk, I will find you. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. Good thing that the just car was not here. The just a car would have fucking killed her. This might be useful. In a way, I kind of wish that the just a car was here, just so I could make her not do it. Granted, th that would probably would have been a fist situation. As in fist from the first game. Rex just wrecked that dude. We've been spotted. I hate like Yeah, that one was on me. But a few times it feels like the game like super woggles. Not woggles, but wobbles. Deploying warp field! I that was on me. Her body crushed the container. Dang it. I just double tapped the dead body. None of you dropped ammo. Bastards. Eclipse Terminal. We, well, we don't really need to do it because we can, like... Wait, no, these are the ones that do lock. Oh, no. I'll just have to be good. Sometimes they're all at the top. Sometimes it's, they, they take a while. We are here to murder, but only slightly murder. No rockets. No mechs. down probably is like a spatial thing the further away you are the like less likely you are to man I can't even go over there like I can't climb up on the boxes how dare I do not appreciate the lack of ammo
Where are all your ammo? Where's the fucking ammo? I do not appreciate the lack of ammo here! bodies are meant to drop ammo game and I am really annoyed by your bullshit ask you to fuck off and give me ammo. Because are you fucking serious? Give me fucking ammo. I'm going to consider this a glitch because you should not refuse to drop ammo this consistently. Shouldn't have let you go. A close exploding rounds. Blew the little bastard's suit wide open. <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I go home, my friends are gonna be so jealous. Well, looks like I'm gonna be Elmora forced to use. Killer. We shouldn't have let her go. But we couldn't Detective know. And I would be interested in this. There was no way we could have known. Unless we just start killing every person we suspect. I get just a car. Okay, I'm gonna start using power ammo. It might actually last longer than my goddamn sniper. We've been spotted. Because the game is being mean. <laughs> Fucking seriously, where is the ammo in this goddamn place? Then again, it looks like they want you game to use it but still where's the normal power cells why is heavy ammo more frequent <laughs> screw you what's the point of cover I'm in cover. Oh, but it can still shoot me. How glorious. Meanwhile, it's not gonna give me any ammo because the game's an asshole. Like, I could overlook that if it wasn't also fucking me when it comes to ammo. Because game, pick one. They've seen us. Either allow me to shoot, or and allow the enemy to shoot, or punch the enemy a bit so that I can try and shoot back with my limited capacity. You'll get him asshole. Oh hey! This ammo. Finally. Fire. That one's on me. Okay, fuck you, game. <laughs> what are you doing, ship? Die, gunny. No 
no idea why they just like we're gonna make sure that none of the enemies drop ammo and then there will be random ammo here at the boss fight but you're gonna be too busy focused on the enemy because you've already accepted death at the hands of superpower super weapons Woot woot. Thank you, Bypass Timer, for being nice, because I got that upgrade. This looks like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it does implicate the Volus. I'm sure Detective and I would be interested in this. Let's go. We've got to keep moving. Oh, that just was money. It took a bit for it to pop up. Because another thing popped up. What? What are you doing back here? Who are you? I am a biotic god. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am Biotic's made flesh. Calm down. You're you probably going to overdose. You need help. For you stand before the mightiest Biotic ever. Jack would like to have a word. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Where'd you come from? Are you part of Pitney Four's trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure will get delayed. Pitney will pick money over friends every time. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a ragdoll. You will die. Shepard. This guy couldn't tie his bootlaces, much less fight. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. You should lie down. Gather your strength before you go toss her around. Wasea will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic-rich blood will be the last... I just pushed him over. But... Great wind. Biotic god. I'm... I... See, now I that's saying? the violence I expect of a paragon. I'm... Lightly push someone over I... so they realize their own mortality. You... may be right. Yes, I'm tired. Oh, man. He is the most Where amusing Volus lately? I've ran into. So much for Godhood. It's hard to tell how much, like, Paragon goes up sometimes. Time for war. Spit take. Uh, I was hoping for a spit take. This is the first time I've seen an enemy in like everything's gone to hell since we armor. smuggled that filthy creature off world. First a Justicar shows up. Now you. Now me. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. <laughs> <laughs>
How did I miss that? I'm terrible. All right, that's horrifying. Stop, please. Burn! Because of shot, ready. Ship must be around here. Perhaps. Hey, she left her data pad. There's just a car here, probably looking for the one we sent off on the AML Demeter. I was happy to see her go. She chilled me to the bone. I just hope that just a car doesn't mess with my operation. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? Hmm, let's look around. We got time. Let's look around some more. You'd think that the battle would have taken place up here, up here. And yeah, uh, that Volus would have been eaten alive. There doesn't seem to be a thing. Granted, I did hear a door open. Door, do you open? No. I... Oh, no, that didn't open. I thought I heard a door open. I heard uh, that stock kind of, well not stock, but that stereotypical decompression like <laughs> noise. Oh, there was a terminal. There was a hack terminal. Option somewhere, and that's just never going away, is it? There's an opportunity to hack a terminal somewhere. Ah, there you are. It's hard to tell sometimes. Dang it. I thought there was like uh, one up there and it might have been. Potentially. Well, I guess now we can leave. I wonder if that is because like the battle ended. I don't know. Return to the Should spaceport. Should we go back to the spaceport main yard? Yes. Let's go. Second. Save. Anything else to say? Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. I don't know what they put in me, but I thought I was well useful. Yeah. Thank you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity, when you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? I think I'll hold on to it. You never know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earth Clan, returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. And Paragon. Paragon points. I will save just in case talking to one ends the mission over the other. Probably talking to you. If you have something that'll encourage the Jesticar to leave, show it to her. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. Hmm. You hunt an Ardat Yakshi. The Eclipse smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. She's who you're really after, isn't she? You continue to impress. Yes, I was here tracking the Ardot Yakshi. She is a dangerous criminal, and I will bring her to justice. 
After your mission is complete, of course. Hmm. I'll meet you aboard my ship. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. Oh, so you like mentally rewrite yourself. Disturbing. Don't bow to me, please. Feels weird. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. Why do I get all the crazy ones? I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. Me neither. If you neither. make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. Hmm. Well, I'm honored. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Zaheed, a thief, a crazy Krogan. Hmm. I have business of Anya. I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. Heh. <laughs> I found the murderer. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard, and any evidence he brings forward. Lol. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. I it's always do. Miss Elnora escaped. But I'll get her. At least you put her on the run. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. Hmm. Pitney 4 is a smuggler. I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Well, take this. Thank you. I shall now return to the Normandy. Level up. We earned points. Recruited Samara for the team. Got a salt gun. Assault gun, assault shotgun, biotic damage credits, and platinum. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. Samara is powerful. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on Deck 3. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Alrighty, now if I go, upgrade the upgrades and see if anybody wants to talk. But before that, I shall, I just need to go check up on a thing. I shall be right back. And I am back. Just have to go check on a little thing. But yes, I'm gonna go. Upgrades, check my messages. Gotta check my messages. But there probably won't be any messages. And we can't talk to him because he's already on the I have a mission. My mission, Shepard. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okie doke. You changed my life. Jert, greetings, Commander Shepard. Liara Tassoni gave me your contact information. I was one of the cleaning crew in the Ah, the cleaning crew in the tower. You helped me out of there. According to Tassoni, you also found Thane. He took down some of the Eclipse Mercs trying to gun us down, and I wondered if you could pass along my thanks. The way he moved. One uh, was dead before they even knew he was there. 
He snapped another's neck, then shot a third, all in the space of few heartbeats. It was incredible. He moved like a dancer, grace and power in a constant motion. Seen him change my life. Woke up something in me I don't fully understand yet. I don't know what I'm going to do, but Solarian lives are too short to waste as custodians, especially when there's so much else out there. I'm going to find something that lets me capture what I saw in him. That beauty, that aesthetic perfection. I'm also going to buy some nice clothes. <laughs> so if you could tell him, or just whatever parts of you think appropriate, I'd appreciate that. Who would have thought seeing a assassin makes you gay? There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. We did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Too bad her manner is just so cold. How is the crew? Is there anything I should know? Grunt seems very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? That'll, That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. All right. We'll go up from engineering, talking to everyone. We, Zahid, we already did his loyalty mission. Uh, Jack, we have her mi loyalty mission loaded up. We'll talk to uh, Tally. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later. I'll let you work. Okay, okay. Talk to you later. Kenneth, what has the new shielding done to your power grid balance? Not much. With built-in capacitor subsystems, they have a surprisingly low draw. Doesn't that mean the shielding boost wouldn't last long under fire? True. They're built for hard, fast strikes, not firefights of attrition. Interesting to hear. We shall talk to Grunt. And then head up. See if we can find everyone else. Chamber said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong. Tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to. I don't know. Harsh. See? Why do that? What's wrong? You have no idea? Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles, voices of warlords. But this is a blood haze in my head. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here, my blood screams, my plates itch, and even you are just noise. I'm tank-born. What is this? Let's ask the ship AI. Edie, anything in your files about Krogan diseases that could cause this? Cerberus has a number of autopsies on file, but nothing on a living Krogan of this age and situation. Krogan are reluctant to share medical records. Then we need a Krogan. My people were defeated by doctors and labs. They will never let stuff like that leave the homeworld to Chunka. We'll go to Tachunka. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. That's a... That's a nice line. It shows that while he does enjoy kind of violence he wants control over his violence all right now we need to go find Thane and the Justicar and talk to everyone terrifying Shepard upgrade you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further. Yes. Shall I tell you what is required? Yes. Show me what it would take. Ah, ship enhancement. Ah, only a few bit of element zero. Hell yeah. Hmm. Miranda and Jacob. What are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events will either forge him into a great man, or utterly destroy him. Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens, and doesn't share them with others. As it should be. Hmm. Mission progress. How do you think our mission is going? Building our forces is a good strategy. However, the time to strike is coming soon. I feel like that is foreshadowing. 
Let's talk. Who are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. Hmm. Your investigation. Let's see. Cerberus. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Hmm. But you're with Cerberus now. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. Your investigation. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. Very well. You might say it is personal. And the mission? How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. Not destroy the Collectors. Stop them from doing what they're doing and find any connection with the Reapers. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. Ah, you don't if like to question your stuff. He's done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Personally, if you can't handle the fact that he was a devoted father when you kill him, you don't deserve to kill. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. If you want to kill someone, do it when you know the entirety of their being. Interesting. Do you need something? Let's talk about other things. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Normandy upgrades. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Yes. Let's see what they've got. Modular probe bay. Normandy gains 100% cr- Yes. 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 God, I wish I had that earlier. I want to talk about you. minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. Yeah, I forgot to when talk to you once you I just recruited you. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other drow. It's called Keprel Syndrome. Life expectancy. Are you going to be alright until the end of the mission? I should be fine for another 8 to 12 months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. Keppel Syndrome. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Uh, you're our related to the Hanar. The moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Why can't it be cured? Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. And is there anything that we can do to help? Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. And we shall go talk to Garrus. See if there's anything we can gather there. And now that we've gathered everyone... Yeah, it's just... Assemble a team. Continue assembling a team of dossiers from the Elusive Man. I did that. There's no more dossiers. So I feel like we're gonna be... Shepard, need me for something? Like, in the middle of something. Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. All right. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. So, more than likely, we're going to run into a thing where after we do a certain number of missions, the elusive man will call us, and hopefully it will act like uh, the last one, where I was able to avoid it if I so chose.
Thank you. But now... There's... is that, but I want to do, like, uh, loyalty missions if possible. Alright, this place is completely done. I shall buy necessary fuel. Okay, that's loyalty mission and... Uh, Bibbidi Bop Shadow Broker. Alright, let's see. Plot Mass Relay Jump. Wait, Investigate Eclipse Presence. Save Crashing Ship. Save Crashing Ship. Tachanka, help Grunt, help Morden. Well, that's in the same place, so we'll probably go there. Hmm, so probably what I'll do is once we get to a, like, safe place of, uh, we know that there is a mission that we can postpone forever, hopefully. Because, again, I am ever worried about the Deus Ex Mankind... I forget which one. It was the first man uh, Deus Ex game made in a long time where if you wandered around too long, uh, people died. But, yeah, more than likely, what we'll do is we'll come here, do these loyalty missions, because they're right next to each other, and that's nice, and just pray for the chance to do things. And then once we get to a stopping point, first I'm gonna go and, uh, mostly scan for anomalies on various places. Like, yeah, scan for anomalies. I mean, I have a shit ton of probes now. So I can, like, do whatever I want. And again, I'm at the point where I don't really need resources, I don't think. So it's not that big of a deal. So we'll quickly scan, grab some resources on the various planets before heading to Tachanka. And while there... I'll grab, like, Garrus and Grunt do his loyalty mission since he seems a bit on edge, and then we'll swap out to Dr. Morden and Garrus. And grab uh, his friend, since we're here. If only I had gotten Thane early, but at the same time, it kind of makes sense since these are kind of decent upgrades for, like, uh, the mid game, uh, mid to late game, which does make me feel like we are in the mid to late game. Oh no, I fear. Just grab a few resources. Go back to scanning the various things that we can find here. Fifty percent done. There has to be something in the asteroid field to justify this. Always need more platform. Launching probe. God, it's nice to have 60 probes. Cause let's see. In the outer so yeah, there has to be hidden things. Ah, there's one super close, and then I think no, that might just be an asteroid, but We'll float around things, find the answer to everything. Launching probe. Find the answer to the universe. Probe launched. Because it feels like the well, maybe Tachanka itself will be the final one because I, that might round about to a hundred, maybe. 
Scarred by bombardment craters, radioactive rubble, choking ash, salt flats, and alkaline lakes, Tachanka can barely support life. Thousands of years ago, life grew in fierce abundance under the F-class star Aralak, a rake clan word meaning Eye of Wrath. Tree analogs grew in thick jungles, their roots growing out of the shallow, silty seas. Life fed upon life in an evolutionary crucible. This world died in nuclear firestorms after the Krogans split the atom. A little ice age of nuclear winter killed off much of the remaining plant life. In recent centuries, many Krogan have returned to their homeworld. The reduced albedo has caused global temperatures to rise. In order to maintain livable temperatures, a vast shroud was assembled at the L1 Lagrange point. It is maintained by the Council Demilitarization Enforcement Mission, CDEM, which is based on orbiting battle stations. CDEM advisory. Visitors to Tachanka land at their own risk. The CDEM will not attempt to extract citizens threatened by clan warfare. Travel advisory. The ecology of Tachanka is deadly. Nearly every native species engages in some predatory behavior. Even the remaining vegetation is carnivorous. Travel beyond guarded areas is strongly discouraged. Population, 2.1 billion. Alright. We'll do Grunt first and then Mortis. Come along, boys. We're here to do nice things. Disruptor ammo, full power. This ammunition's electromagnetic properties can cause synthetics to critically overload and explode. Recharge time, duration lasts until overridden by another ammo. Shield and synthetic damage, 60 plus. Synthetic overload duration and weapon overheat duration. And I'll go ahead and give you four in your concussive. Let's see. We'll give ourselves Geth Plasma. Yeah, I'll give you a Viscerator. We'll watch the landing sequence. But we're gonna head out with Grunt, and then we'll swap Grunt out with Solus. I think I called him Mortis, Mortis when his name is Morden Solus. Hmm. Lord Pack Recruiter. You're looking for work. Stop right there, alien or shepherd of the Normandy. Yeah. What did I tell you, hon? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high-tech noise. I guess. Seems a bit dirty, though. Oh, it builds character. <laughs> nice to see you. But hello, Overcaptain. Why does everyone point their guns at me? The clan leader wants to speak with you. That happens all Keep the time. Keep running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. The right. Do you know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Take your business to the clan leader and keep your running pet on a short leash. Get no, just let me by. I have business to take care of. Someday we'll get off this run. Show those Turians who's boss. All the hatred in the world. Dreadnought clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. We're gonna get Grunt's problem noted. And then we'll get... The good doctor's problem sorted. Hmm. Roches wares, we'll check that, I guess. Talk to everyone on the way. No. Looks like Ur's finally found someone to follow around. Hmm. Pet the Varen. Good Varen. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> Good Varen. Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. No hate for an alien? Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are inert not. Except you. 
I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. Pragmatic. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. All right, what do you sell? What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rin calls a local favorite. Don't try to act tough and tear your insides apart. <laughs> He's not joking. Rin call hits aliens like ground glass. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal, which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. Hmm. Tell me about the pajacks. What the hell is a pie jack? Off world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons <laughs> to stop them. I'll help you with I'm them. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population. You get a discount. Good luck with that. All right, I should Thanks. go. Suit yourself. I shall kill pie jacks. It, it kind of sounds like they're the local wild boar. The right. Yeah, my eyes. I think. Uh, I think you actually had a fertile female on one of your trips to their camp. I... <laughs> Son. Watch it, human. Yes, yes. What do you want, human? Rex oh, told Rex. me to be polite. He didn't say you were going to talk to me. Hmm. Tell me about yourself. So, you're in charge of Earthnaut scouts? Why waste your time shooting at vermin? Ammunition is the one thing we're not hurting for on Tachanka. As scout commander, I have to set an example. Plus, the little bastards get into food supplies if their numbers get too high. Can't have that. Hmm. Need for scouts. You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Varen here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans, but I still have to patrol. Keep them honest. Nice talk. Thanks Andy. for the information. Whatever. Look at him run. Ah. Not what I expected. Well, it's a whole mini game. Kind of wish I could aim with my mouse. I've seen these same monkeys models all over the place in these games. They only have one monkey model. What? 
That monkey better not make a dent in the food supplies, considering it glitched. Granted, it could just mean that the monkeys are smarter than they look, and that they retreated. Completed Ratchet's Quest. I made a dent in the monkeys. Straight ahead. And now that we did that. Looks like Ur's finally found someone to follow around. Seeing those vermin roasting the heat from an explosive shell. Oh, I swear it was glorious. My it pleasure. Was a lot of fun. Help yourself to more. There's no shortage of pie jocks out there if you get a craving for violence. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. Sure. I should go. Suit yourself. Let's see, pie jack meat. Heavy a weapon ammo. Hmm, let's see. Stabilization gauntlets, increases shields, death mask. Increases negotiation bonus. Guess I'll grab heavy ammo. This might be useful. Get a heavy pistol. Uh, I'm not really down for kind of masks, but uh, we can buy it. Thanks, dude. Now we'll go around and talk to everybody here. I asked the female clan for right of parentage. Why bother? And now. Dice card. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is in talks. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time. Shepherd. Shepherd. <laughs> I think he's even wearing the armor from the last game I gave him. <laughs> Shepherd. My friend. Nice to see you, Rex. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. <laughs> it's been a long time. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erdnot possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan. Though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I use that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandon many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Lol. Speak when spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Big lol. <laughs> now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Blown up destroyed in the collector surprise attack I ended up spaced well you look good ah the benefits of a redundant nervous system <laughs> yeah humans, humans don't, don't have, have that, that. <laughs> oh it must have been painful then but you're standing here and you've got a strong new ship takes me back to the old days us against the unknown killing it with big guns good times hmm Tell me about your work. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. Hmm. How do you keep control? How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. Seems reasonable. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Everyone
every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. Hmm. And how's your plan Sounds going? Sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared. Worse than I'd hoped. It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. You have opposition? Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained barren. Always fighting, guarding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. Risky. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed, even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. My business here. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchanka, but you're an exception. Hmm, what's wrong with Glorunt? <laughs> I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I was made I into have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? Get to the point. I need Grunt back up to speed. What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Adolescents? Can't we just take him to Omega and buy him a few dances? <laughs> I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. <laughs> so, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? What is involved? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. And you'll allow a clone? You'll let a tank bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, <laughs> but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. Hmm. Well, his call. This is his choice. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. Too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew? Hmm? Quite a lot. And many more to come. Solarian and Blood Pack. But, uh, I want to save that when we have Morden with us. We'll talk later. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Pharos and Ilos. <laughs> Hi, Los. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiago, and Bio. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. Pit fight gambling station. No, thank you. Give me a reason. Step back. My very I'll save just in case we piss off any. We don't want to kill any Ordnot. Do I look like I have time to talk? I've got work to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot up in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? Hmm. I'll look for a manifold. Well, who are you? I've never seen a Krogan mechanic before. What? 
You think we kidnap quarians and make them do the hard work? Nah, I just never thought Not about anymore, it. Anymore, we don't. <laughs> Not anymore. Where can I get a manifold? Any idea where I could find a combustion manifold? Yeah, I can make one. Give me three days and a barrel of Rinkol. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. Hmm. I'll look for a manifold. I'm going out into the field. If I see a combustion manifold, I'll bring it back with me. If you did, it would save me a lot of work. Maybe bring back my sunny disposition. All right. Goodbye. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. You know what? I'm gonna quickly go back to the Normandy and bring in Solus. It'll be a little odd, because, you know, Solus among so many Krogan. But, hey. You see that special they had on the extra? That crap rots your brain. Should be out on you. I'll tear you apart. You don't have a place to try. I got, I got mixed up around. I'm gonna quickly go grab some. I've had enough of you. Unless M Citadel Presidium is a big statue of a Krogan, right in the middle. <laughs> well, I'm not having a damn Asaurus statue out here. That fuck. Lol. There's even <laughs> Krogan politics. Which, uh, hopefully I'll just be able to request new squad member. This will be very awkward for you, but you've done this to yourself. Let us go. Hey, we have a Solarian right here. But you can't kill him. He'd probably kill you first, just out of rage. It's a, it'd be a calm rage, but it would still be rage. Alright. I'm gonna head up and ask about Blood Pack and the Solarian. Yo, Rex. Shepard. What can I do for you, my friend? Solarian and Blood Pack. I'm looking for a Solarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. All right. We'll talk I need later. To go. We'll go over this another time. Hunt well, Shepard. And there's a reason why I didn't ask him to come. It's because, yeah, I doubt he's the last recruitable. He's busy here reuniting the the Krogan, trying to bring some One sort of win in the pits. Diddly -dee. I'm retired. What do you want, human? Rex told me to be polite. He didn't say you were going to talk to me. Help me find a Solarian. I'm looking for a Solarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Solarian. Poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Warlock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base, if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. Hmm. Warlock base. What can you tell me about Clan Warlock's base? Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Warlock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Warlock's base is crawling with blood pack. A hospital. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka <laughs> has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. Yeah, when fair. When injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. Blood rage, they call it. Warlock and What's Blood Pack. Warlock's reputation, and how are they involved with the Blood Pack? Tough humps. And they're not friendly, like we are. <laughs> you ever run into the Blood Pack? Yep, killed a lot of them. Gang. Clan Warlock started it. One of the only gangs with an off-world presence. They're fanatics. Totally devoted to Warlock Gold. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Gold's behind it. How so? What makes Gold so special? He's got two children. 
One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. <laughs> Lucky bastard. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Luck. That's all it is. Same for gold. Blood Pack aren't all Krogan. But the Blood Pack has non-Krogan members. Like Vorcha. Ha! Huh, the Vorcha. They're just like the Varen. Only they can use guns and don't crap on the floor as often. The Krogan are the only real members of the Blood Pack. Anyone else is just there to soak enemy fire. <laughs> what about Gold? What makes Gold so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Not me. Alright. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear to And, uh, to Solarian him. presence. Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? I assume they wanted to torture him. He don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. That's a bit xenophobic. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. If I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering, but it's not my call. Hmm. I better Thanks go. For the information. Anything that gets rid of the damn off-worlders. You can take the truck over there. You need anything else? Goodbye. Talk to you later. We'll go Place to the shaman first. Hits, and we then... After we go to the shaman, we will then. Citadel has these huge arms, and millions of people live there. Why do you care so much? I'll never back down. I've never seen this many Krogan in one place. Then I'll put you on your back. What? You go beyond yourself, Galatagu Vank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. We have permission. Erdnot Rex has given us permission to seek clan status for Grunt. Permission? <laughs> that is good enough. If lacking in spirit. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Krantz stands against him. He has no one. He has me. <sighs> My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your Krant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf. Hmm. He's part of my crew. We stand with Grunt, as shipmates and comrades. Shipmates are not the same thing. But I grant you aliens your simple interpretation. <laughs> aliens don't know strength. My followers are true, Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. Hmm. What is your problem, Uvink? What the hell is your issue? What have you got against Grunt? It doesn't matter if one of our own made him. He is a manipulation. He may as well be the genophage in the flesh. The genophage defines the weak. My bloodline will make us stronger. You sound like Rex, bringing radical change that threatens our core. We have gone too far already. You argue like an alien. This is about politics. You maneuver like the Citadel Council. Does your Krant also fight with words? You dare slander me in such a way? Lol. Impressive. You challenged with words, their natural weapon. And your Krant sees how your position weakens, Uvang. Shaman. You cannot decide in his favor. What about Krogan tradition if you pollute the right? You... You <laughs> dare. I was a warrior before your mother was born. I speak with the authority of centuries. I decide who is worthy. That is the end of it. And I have other means to oppose this. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me <laughs> to fight you. They're your problem now. Hmm. Let's have the details. <laughs> Can Uvink interfere? Is that Krogan gonna be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere. Will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. 
from what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. What should we bring? Do we need any special equipment? To begin the rite, only the candidate and his craft are required. You love battle, don't you, Shepard? The last gasp of a dying opponent. Bring your love of the fight to Grunt's trial, and he will succeed. And overall, let's have the details. We've waited long enough. Tell us how this works. Still your impatience, Shepard. For now, know that Grunt will be tested, and that you must adapt. Well, let's begin the rite. We're ready. Let's do this. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Be hilarious if Solus came with us. All right, we can actually choose. Okay, Grunt is automatic. I'll bring Garrus along with this. I just wanted to have Solus there for conversations of other such things regarding his man. gonna have to fight through a whole thing or is this gonna be an arena either way I'm ready this is Tachanka's most recent scar the last surface city to fall in the rebellions the keystone was at the heart it has survived wars and the passage of centuries it endures like the Krogan you wish to join Clan Erdnot, you must contemplate the Keystone and its trials. What will happen? Who knows? <laughs> you must adapt. Who knows? You must thrive no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will. Does that make me a true Krogan? First the Krogan conquered Tuchanka and mastered a natural world only we are fit to hold. I'm hacking here. Boy, you're already worthy in my eyes. Yes. Looking for anything special. Out here. Kill 2,000 enemies in Mass Effect 1, 2, or 3. I've done a lot of things in this game. Well, these games. These beasts will know I'm worthy. Activate the keystone. Continue the right. I'm gonna guess that there's gonna be Uvink interference. Stars to destroy the fears of a galaxy. 
Bug monsters. Die, bug monster. that thing's going to want to fight. Incinerate! <laughs> Incinerate! Ah, so that's how we kind of tell. The uh, mini-map is still there, I just can't activate it at all times. I need to put on my my ammo because I'm a fool. Forgot to put on the ammo. I, I, I haven't had that on in a long time. Now all Krogan bear the general mage. Our reward, our curse. It is a fight where the only goal is survival. Tentacles. I feel like we should, but all right, we do. Trouble it back. Excuse you, but I was definitely safe. Where's my fucking shields?
Incinerate! I think we'll be able to take down a Thresher mob. when we can kill. Thresher Maw defeated. Did not like that guy. He was me, and uh, kept my shields off. We have company. Good. I want more. A Thresher Maw on foot wasn't good enough for you? You live. And to walk down the Thresher Maw. No one has done that in generations. Word not Rex was the last. My cramp gave me strength beyond my genes, which are damn good. <laughs> True. Your alien found weakness in some of my cramp. I wonder. You say you are pure. Okir constructed you? No alien meddling? He's the ultimate Krogan. The Krogan traits are distilled into grunt. He's designed to be perfect. Being designed is the problem, but not made by aliens. And he is truly powerful. <laughs> tolerable loophole. a tolerable loophole. A what? A reason to accept you. You are a mistake, but your potential could tip the current balance of the clans. You spit on my father's name. On Shepard's name. But now you stop ranting because I am strong. With restrictions. You could not breed a corpse or serve on an alien ship. But you'd be clan in name. You only want him as a trophy. You talk like he's a thing. You're after his power. You don't really want him in your clan. Of course not. I didn't really want to cooperate with Clan Erdnot either, but I had to. Clan Gadatog is on the verge, either of greatness or of joining the dust. I get traditional support if I fight you, and reformer support if I back you. Your rite of passage tipped that balance too. Your call, Grunt. It's your choice, Grunt. Sounds like an easy job. That's the problem. I'm pure Krogan. Uvik, you were the pretender. Your head is valuable whether you're alive or dead. Just try to take it. Glad you made a good choice, my boy. He has weird morals, but I'll take him. You're special enough. Getting up close! Get ready for close combat! Heavy weapons! Burn! Too late! Now you're dead! Is me. Let's signal at the keystone to get out of here and leave him to rot. Thresher Mom and a Krogan can a clan. It's just nice to see Rex again. Gain the loyalty of the Krogan. Past the rite of passage, earning the honor of clan and name. Many survive, but it has been years since a Thresher Maw fell. Your names shall live in glory. Grunt, you are Erdnot. We now own property. Join the army and apply to serve under a battle master. Shepard is my battle master. He has no match. Understood. <laughs> Congratulations, Erdnot Grunt. Accept this token from Fortak. His weapons are the finest we have. Hmm. Your name. 
What were you called before you became Shaman? I gave up my name when I became the Shaman. I am a conduit for the rage and bloodlust of my people. Fair enough. It would be wrong to retain my old identity. My life belongs to the clan. Tachanka history. I don't know about Tachanka's past. Tachanka is a place of great gifts. It kills the weak, torments the slow, and destroys the stupid. Survival is an honor, and here, Krogan thrive. We cover this planet with our civilization, only to burn it to the ground a dozen times over. Each time, we grow stronger. When we are wise and powerful enough, we will tame the planet forever. The destruction was I've good. I've never heard anyone say that wiping out their own civilization was a good thing. I'd have thought you of all aliens would understand, Shepard. The Krogan empires and clans of the past were glorious, built in great battles and conquests, but their cores were weak. How else could they have fallen? When Krogan civilization achieves its apex, there will be no stopping it. No stopping us. And Krogan tradition. Tell me about Krogan rites and ceremonies. You have seen the rite of passage. Krogan suffer the rite of life at birth, and the rite of honor when they wish to be considered for breeding. The rite of firsts is suffered before a Krogan faces a new enemy. A clan leader also undergoes many rites in service to the clan. What about you? What rights did you go through to become Chief Shaman? Becoming the Shaman is excruciating. I pass through rites that make me wish to die. I carry the scars on my soul. I must perform rites each dawn and dusk to keep me bound into our Krogan nature. Our spirit is one of violence and death. I must be attuned to that. Your job is awful. <laughs> Indeed. That's funny. Well, goodbye. I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. We can use this. Level up. Yay. Grunt has joined Clan Erdnot and should be emotionally stable. We'll monitor Krogan's progress of societal acceptance with Clan Erdnot. Hopefully clan bonds will not interfere with loyalty to Shepard. Data regarding Krogan Cran politics useful. Grunt power unlocked. A massive boost armor. How he gets that ability. And he gets a new outfit. Shotgun damage. Woot. Lots of nice things. I have two points. I can wait for one more and level up tactical cloak or AI hacking. Fortification. Hmm. Let's level up your overload. Yeah, <laughs> but we're gonna save and uh, head back to the ship just to grab Morden again. And since we're here, we might as well do that. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. We already know that. Oh, damn it! I hate that. Garrus, Morden. Well, actually, Morden and Grunt. Let's see. Level up your incinerate. We're gonna have some nice fun. Granted, I could have saved that for your loyalty power. What did I tell you, honey? Nice that they're together and visiting home. And nice of her to actually go along with it. <laughs> Nice to do some loyalty missions. They're nice and fun, I'd say. Not to mention, hey, kind of cool to fight a Thresher Maw, even if Thresher Maws are terrifying. The pits have been a bloodbath ever since Urza's handler was exiled. Still looking for that Solarian. I want to take the truck.
will be kind of fun if it's like, here, mission, uh, character, yep, nah. Come along, my dude. Ooh, it actually shows who has loyalty underneath them. Cool. I probably should have gone back to the Normandy just so I could talk to people, because that probably would have caused things, but oh well. Let's head out. to kill and save and mostly kill save you've heard of kill steal this is kill save and besides it's blood pack fuck the blood pack and fuck these creepy things incoming all right you just did a nice swerve die thought i was harmless did you it's a bug it doesn't know anything Doesn't really think anything either. Would be nice of you. Got it. Gather up on me. Then again, blood factor probably had. Kindly stop. Vorcha are freaky. Ah, they didn't even have the decent. Oh, never mind. There's ammo over here. I take. came from. I hate flamethrowers. I'm a failure. Ah, hell. Help! I want help! Kindly ask, move up with me, my teammates. Stop shooting, Shepard. You bounced into my range. down any old bastard. Not what I wanted. Let's see. Doesn't seem to be much else to go. We'll save and bypass. Buzz off. Knock. Repurposed Krogan Hospital. Sturdy. Built to withstand punishment. Built to withstand Krogan. Human. That body. Human. Need to take a look. What's a human doing here? 
sores, tumors, ligatures showing restraint at wrists and ankles, track marks for repeated injection sites. Test subject. Victim of experimentation. Any clue of identification? I don't suppose there's a way to tell who this poor bastard was? No tattoos or ID. Maybe slave or prisoner. Maybe merc or pirate. Irrelevant now. Clearly part of Krogan tests to cure genophage. Humans useful as test subjects. Genetically diverse. Enables exploration of treatment modalities. Hmm. Why not Varen? Would something native to Tachanka work better? Varen, maybe? Yes. Human experiments strictly high-level, concept testing. Native Tuchanka fauna likely used later in development stages. Wise to delay use of Varen until necessary. Powerful bite. Hmm. Nature of experiments. What can you tell about their experiments from looking at the body? Position of tumors suggests deliberate mutation of adrenal pineal glands, modifying hormone levels, counterattack on glands hit by genophage. Clever. Clever? That sounds bad. Do you think they're close to curing the genophage? Can't say. Need more data. Conceptually sound, though, genophage alters hormone levels, could repair damage with hormonal counterattack. Hmm. Human genetic diversity. How are humans more genetically diverse? More variable. Peaks and valleys, mutations, adaptations, far beyond other life. Makes humans useful test subjects. Larger reactions to smaller stimuli. Our differing appearance? I know we can look much different from each other, but Asari have a wide range of skin tones. No. Ignore superficial appearance, down to genetic code. Biotic abilities, intelligence levels. Can look at random Asari, Krogan, make reasonable guess. Humans, too variable to judge. Outliers in all species, of course. Geniuses, idiots. But human probability curve offers greater overall variety. Using humans is wrong. Experimenting on humans? That kind of crap is what makes Cerberus start to seem like a good idea. Never used humans myself. Disgusting, unethical, sloppy. Used by brute force researchers, not thinkers. No place in proper science. Krogan use of humans, unsurprising. Did you use Krogan test subjects? I imagine you had to do some live subject testing while developing the new genophage. No, unnecessary. Limited tests to simulations, corpses, clone tissue samples. High level tests on Varen. No tests on species with members capable of calculus. Simple rule, never broke it. Good. Well, I'm stopping this. Now we've got two reasons to shut this place down. Focus on Malin. Too late to help the dead. What if Malin's dead? And hey, I think we finally found those goddamn Krogan scientists we've all been hearing about. I mean, besides the one that was under Sa uh, Saren's employ. I am the speaker for Clan Werelock, Offworlders. You have shed our blood. By rights, you should be dead already. But Werelock Gold, the Chief of Cheats, has ordered that you be given leave to flee and spread the message of our coming. You're letting us go. Why? Krogan don't generally let people go. What does Clan Werelock have planned? If you walk away now, you can tell your children that you saw Clan Werelock before our blood pack conquered the stars. You think the Erd not impressive? They are pitiful! Warlock Gold will destroy them! The Salarian will cure the genophage, and Clan Warlock will uh, spread across not even the galaxy Krogan in a sea of blood! Appears they discovered Malin's work. Unfortunate. No one else has to die. It doesn't have to happen like this. I can understand wanting to cure the genophage. No human, you understand nothing! You have not seen the piles of children that never lived. The Krogan were wrong. We will make it right, and then we will have our revenge. Why not try diplomacy? Half the galaxy sees the Krogan as victims. If you start a war, you'll lose their support. We have the Blood Pack, and we have the Salarian. When our clan numbers in the millions, we will not need support. When we cure the Genophage, Warlock Gold will rule all Krogan. The Krogan Rebellions will become the Krogan Empire! The surviving races will frighten their children this with is what tales they really want of what the take. Blood Pack did to the Turians. The Asari will scream as their citadel plunges into the sun. We will keep Salarians as slaves and eat their eggs as a delicacy. If you lack the wisdom to flee, then you will be the first of billions to be crushed beneath <laughs> really our lives! He wants you to take this renegade option! <laughs> 
We've been spotted. Nothing. They hurt me. Pitiful. Alright, these guys are hefty boys. But hey, sniper's cool. Maybe this will cause him to be like, oh, while yes, the genophage might seem like a good idea because they're super pissed. They do have a reason to be super pissed right now. And no ammo. Is there any ammo down there? I'm sad. I wish. Labs likely through there. Can smell antiseptic. Hint of dead flesh. Just get us there. Ammo? No. Circuit boards. Could use circuit boards as ammo. Active console may contain useful data. One moment. Genetic sequences. Hormone mutagens is still steady. Protein chains. Live tissue. Clone tissue. Very thorough. Standard treatment vectors. Avoiding scorched earth immunosuppressants to alter hormone levels. Good. Hate to see that. Morton's pride and work. Most people wouldn't be so casual about developing a sterility plague, Morton. Not developing, modifying, much more difficult, working huh. within confines of existing genophage a hundred times the complexity. Errors unacceptable, could cause total sterility, malignant tumors, could even reduce effectiveness, worse than doing nothing. Had to keep Krogan population stable, one in one thousand, perfect target, optimal growth, like gardening. You're a heartless killer. Pretty that however you like. You're talking about murdering millions. No, murdered no one. Altered fertility, prevented fetal development of nervous system. Have killed many, Shepard. Many methods. Gunfire, knives, drugs, tech attacks. Once with farming equipment, but Eesh. not with medicine. Hmm, process of work. What was it like working on the genophage modification project? Best years of my life. Wake up with ideas, talk over breakfast, experiments all morning. Statistical analysis in afternoon, run new simulations during dinner, set data runs to cook overnight. Laughter, ego, argument, passion, galaxy's biggest problem, massive resources thrown at us, got anything we wanted. Still close to your team? Do you keep in touch with your old team members? No. All changed with deployment. Made test drop on isolated Krogan clan, hit rest of Tuchanka when results were positive. End of project. Separate ways. Watching it end, watching birth rates drop. Personal, private, not appropriate for team. Effects on Tachanka. How can you agree with using the genophage, Morton? Look at what happened to Tachanka as a result. State of Tachanka not due to genophage. Nuclear winter caused by Krogan before Salarians made first contact. Krogan choices. Refuse truce during Krogan rebellions. Expand after Rachni wars. Splinter after genophage. Genophage medical, not nuclear. No craters from virus. Damage caused by Krogan, not Salarians, not me. Still your fault. The effects on Tachanka are still your responsibility. You upgraded the virus that kept them in barbarism. Krogan committed war crimes, refused to negotiate. The during the defeat isn't. not complete. Krogan could have recovered, attacked again. Conventional war too risky. Krogan forces too strong. Genophage was only option. Krogan forced Genophage, us or them. No apologies for winning. Wouldn't have minded peaceful solution. You're open to Krogan peace? So if the Krogan banded together and formed a united government, you'd welcome that? Yes, United Krogan saved Galaxy, destroyed Rachni. Genophage not punishment, simply alters fertility to correct for removal from hostile environment. Hmm. Well, let's get moving. We're not gonna find mail on staring at consoles. Come on. <laughs> they committed war crimes, I mean. Genetically altering the entirety of a species isn't some kind of war crime? Dead Krogan, female. Tumors indicate experimentation. No restraint marks. Volunteer. Sterile, werelock, female. Willing to risk procedures. 
hoped for cure. Pointless. Pointless waste of life. This bothers you? I didn't expect you to be disturbed by the sight of a dead Krogan. What? Why? Because of genophage work? Irrelevant. No. Causative. Never experimented on live Krogan. Never killed with medicine. Her death not my work. Only reaction to it. Goal was to stabilize population. Never wanted this. Can see it logically. But still unnecessary. Foolish. Waste of life. Hate to see it. How often do you see it? I didn't think you'd had much direct contact with things like this. Did you come to Tachanka after dropping your plague? Yearly recon missions. Water, tissue samples. Ensure no mistakes. Superiors offered to carry it on. Refused. Need to see it in person. Need to look. Need to see. Accept it as necessary. See small picture. Remind myself why I run a clinic on Omega. Rest, young mother. Find your gods. Find someplace better. That sounded religious. I didn't expect spirituality from you, Morden. Genophage modification project altered millions of lives, then saw results. Ego, humility, juxtaposition, frailty of life, size of universe. Explored religions after work completed. Different races, no answers. Many questions. You had a crisis of faith. Sounds like you were trying to deal with your guilty conscience. The doctor who killed millions. Modified genophage project great in scope, scientifically brilliant, but ethically difficult. Krogan reaction visceral, tragic, not guilty, but responsible. Trained as doctor, genophage affects fertility, doesn't kill, still caused this. Hard to see big picture behind pile of corpses. How do you deal with Can that? Can you really just rationalize it all the way? How do you justify it? Wheel of life. Popular Salarian concept. Similar to human Hinduism in focus on reincarnation. Appealing to see life as endless. Fix mistakes in next life. Learn. Adapt. Improve. Refuse to believe life ends here. Too wasteful. Have more to offer. Mistakes to fix. Cannot end here. Could do so much more. Like undo the genophage. If you need this much soul searching to get over it, maybe the genophage was wrong. Had to be done. Rachni wars, Krogan rebellions, all pointed to Krogan aggression. So many simulations. Effects of Krogan population increase. All pointed to war. Extinction. Genophage or genocide. Save galaxy from Krogan. Save Krogan from galaxy. You could have cured them. You could have cured the genophage instead. Brought hope to the Krogan. They'd have rejoiced. Assumes human reaction. Krogan stimulus response different. Harsh environment. Take chance to fight. Flee. Would have caused chaos on Tuchanka. Victor would have war economy. Bloodthirsty army. Galactic expansion only logical outcome. More war. Genophage saved lives. War would have ended. Hmm. That's garbage. Look at the dead woman, Morton. It doesn't look like you saved her. No, it doesn't. Worked with available data. Only option. No other possible. Doesn't matter. It always matters, Morton. Always matters. When you're working on such a wide scale, you need to think a little bit outside the box there. It's definitely, definitely a difficult position. I'll take it. But at the end of the day, Still need to think about it hard. Need to change gun. Don't have sniper ammo. You killed the blood pack guards. Yeah. Not blood pack. Not member of clan. Warlock. Wrong clan markings. I'm a nerd, not scout. Warlock guard got me. Brought me here. We were looking the for you. The chief scout told us to watch for you. We've taken out the guards. Get back to Erd I can't. The warlock did things to me. Drugs. Injections. Said I was sacrificing for the good of all Krogan. Experiments to cure the genophage. Everything's blurry. Hard to think. Have to stay. 
Morgan can Morgan, help. Can you get him back on his feet? Stims, maybe? Something to bolster his immune system? You don't understand. I'm not too sick to leave. I have to stay. They're curing the genophage. They're gonna make it all better. They have to keep doing the tests. Caution, Shepard. Patient unstable, susceptible, brainwashed. I want to help. Why do you want them to keep doing the tests? This is my fault. I got caught. Wasn't strong enough. Not good enough. This is the best I can do. This is all I can do. I'm not big enough to have a real shot with the females. I'll never have kids of my own. But if I help undo the genophage, then I mattered. It doesn't help your clan. Millions of children will be born. Warlock children. They're going to destroy the other clans. But... No. No, they said I was helping Erdnot. If you want to help Erdnot, you need to get back there. But it would take a real badass to make it back to camp while injured. Yeah. I can do it. You? I said a badass, not some scout whining like a quarian with a tummy ache. I can do it. I'm up. And I'm going to the female camp. Damn right you are. Get back there and show them what you're worth. Go. Go. Nicely done. Fortunately, subject is unlikely to be contagious. All right, orange, blue, orange. Blue top, mostly orange. Green, purple, green. Off to the side, purple. Always nice to paragon a dude back to help. But in a way, in a sick sort of way, they were probably not lying to him. They were like, we will s help Clan Ordnot by wiping them out because they see them as weak. Shepard, I'm detecting crates ahead that are holding unstable materials. A misplaced shot can cause a significant explosion. Or a well-placed shot. Explosion. Fire! This is not gonna cut it. Oh. Nothing can hurt me. Just realized I'm fighting like a Krogan. Focusing on killing the enemy before they kill me. Just walk it. Oh, down for some ammo is that how they handle the difficulty in this game they take away ammo oh god that might actually be what they're doing make it harder for you to get ammo so you're put in a more difficult position where did I get the, all this ammo Dang it. Burn. Dang it, I missed. Barrier. Down with you. He's 
not charging anymore. Locked crate. What's well, I wonder what's in here? But overall, this is a definitely an interesting moral dilemma. But at the same time, it's still frickin' a very, very odd thing to do. Messing with the very genetic structure of a species and basically full-on eugenicsing it all. Would have been difficult, but there had to have been a better way. Alright, orange, blue, orange. Up. Orange, green, orange. Alright, this one's a whole myriad. And it was right over there, hidden in a nice little corner. This should come in handy. I wonder if Malin's working voluntarily. Malin? Alive, unharmed. No signs of restraint, no evidence of torture. Don't understand. For such a smart man, Professor, you always had trouble seeing evidence that disagreed with your preconceptions. How long will it take you to admit that I'm here because I wish to be here? Hmm. He didn't need rescuing. He wasn't kidnapped. He came here voluntarily to cure the genophage. Impossible. Whole team agreed. Project necessary. How was I supposed to disagree with the great Dr. Solis? I was your student! I looked up to you! Experiments performed to you. Live subjects, prisoners, torture and executions. You're doing? We've already got the blood of millions on our hands, Doctor. If it takes a bit more to put things right, I can deal with that. We are working for the Blood Pact. I say you're inherently wrong. Ethics of experiments. You honestly think the experiments you did here are justified? We committed cultural genocide. Nothing I do will ever be justified. The experiments are monstrous because I was taught to be a monster. Taught by Morden? Morden? Did you ever perform experiments like this? No. Never taught you this, Malin. So your hands are clean. What does it matter if the ground is stained with the blood of millions? You taught me that the end justified the means. I will undo what we did, Professor. The only way I know how. Results of cure. What happens if the genophage is cured and the Krogan expand again? That'll be on your head. We justified this atrocity by saying the Krogan would cause havoc and war if their population recovered. But look at the galaxy. Batarian attacks in the Traverse. Geth attacks in the Citadel. Is this a more peaceful universe? He has a point. Salt on your Eden Prime might never have happened if we had let the Krogan recover. We'll never know. <laughs> That's garbage. How would a Krogan population explosion have done anything to stop Saren and the Geth? An increased Krogan population would have forced the Council to take steps, likely involving colony rights in the Traverse. The Turian fleets would be vigilant for any military activity in the area. They might have stopped the Geth at Eden Prime. Supposition impossible to be certain. Don't you see? We tried to play God and we failed. We only made things worse, and I'm going to fix it. Genophage lethality. You talked about killing, but the genophage isn't lethal. It only I mean, I'm being humans. a bit of a hypocrite here, but Krogan that's just the writing of the game so humans. far. They become mercenaries or pirates because they see no alternative. They would be thriving in a cultural renaissance now had we I'm not mostly just exhausting that dialogue. Inaccurate. Krogan population resulted in war. Simulations were clear. Alliance with Warlock. Why work with Clan Warlock? And how did you access the genophage data? The data was easy to obtain. We all still had clearance. We were heroes. All I had to do was ask. As for the Werelock, they were the only clan with both the resources and the commitment. Not Clan Erdnot? Erdnot has a larger camp than Werelock. Why not use them? Erdnot Rex is too soft. He wasn't willing to do the experiments I needed. It's Erdnot's loss and Werelock's gain. Their clan will be the first to recover from the crime we committed. And it up. What now, Morden? Malin clearly doesn't need rescuing. What do you want to do? Have to end this. You can't face the truth, can you? Can't admit that your brilliant mind led you to commit an atrocity. The one thing is, I would say, experiments, unacceptable goals, won't change. No choice. Have to kill you. 
Wait, you don't need to do this. He shouldn't have worked with Warlock. You're not a murderer. <laughs> not not. No, not a murderer. Thank you, Shepard. Finished, Malin. Get out. No Warlock left. Project over. He can leak the story. What if he talks to Mork Rogan? Tells the public about the modified Genophage project. Special tasks group good at covering tracks. No proof. Warlock willingness to work with Salarian, unusual. Other Krogan will kill him. He'll keep working on Aren't a cure. Are you worried that he'll start his research again? No. Locking this unit. Special task group can cut access to old data. Could start from scratch. Decades of work, though. Didn't teach you everything I knew. Well, leave Malin. You heard the professor. No. Get out before he changes his mind. Where am I supposed to go, Professor? Don't care. Try Omega. Can always use another clinic. The Krogan didn't deserve what we did to them, Professor. The Genophage needs to end. Not like this. Apologies, Commander. Misunderstood mission parameters. No kidnapping. My mistake. Thank you. Are you okay? Don't worry about me, Morton. How are you doing? Should have killed him. Wanted to. Easier than listening. Easier for him, too. Experiments indicate how far he's fallen. Expected it from Krogan. Not one of mine. Remember that. Maybe you'll remember that the next time you're discussing the ethics of the genophage. Yes. So many variables. Stress responses. Impossible to truly predict. Something to think about. Malin's research. Only loose end. Could destroy it. Closure. Security. Still valuable, though. His research was sick. This is the research that included tests on living victims. It's tainted. Right now, victims died for nothing. Keep it. Use it. Death's worth something. Malin's work could cure Genophage. Don't know. Effects on Krogan. Effects on Galaxy. Too many variables. Too many variables. You should help the Krogan. You regret what the Krogan have become. You see the horror of what they did here, but you see the loss, too. Wasted potential. They don't deserve this, Morton. Save the data. Point taken, Shepard. Capturing data. Wiping local copy. Still years away from cure, but closer than starting from scratch. Done. Ready to go. Ready to be off to Chanka. Anywhere else. Maybe somewhere sunny. Hmm. Let's get out of here. 30 Paragon for that. Because it is a very odd ethical situation. But I would still think that the Genophage is wrong. And while curing the Genophage is a step in the right direction to some degree, doing it with like live tech subjects like he, the Malin did was wrong. And it was probably brought on by his obscene guilt that he like gave in to the despair a bit. And he's like, I will do more wrong to try and right a wrong. But then at the same time, he was blind to, in a similar way to Morden. Because Morden was blind because he was so sure in the simulations that the Krogan would be a threat to the galaxy. Whereas this guy was basically so woe is me, I killed a lot, that he was like, I don't care. Like, <laughs> and wouldn't even work with Rex. Because, I mean, Rex would have loved to get the cure out there, but he probably would have done it a bit more ethically. Mm, who knows? Wasted potential. Troubled by Clan Warlock's progress towards Xenophage cure without Cerberus knowledge. Cure data may prove useful, Krogan dangerous, but if recruited as shock troops against Reapers, extremely valuable. Morden's assistant is no longer a problem. <laughs> That's ominous. Morden will have no trouble focusing on the mission. Cripple an organic enemy with pain. Ah, Morton Power. And new outfit. Krogan Vitality. Normandy Labs to upgrade. Squad member upgrade. All Krogan squad members get 25 plus health. Ah, yes. The one Krogan member. Maybe they worded it like that in case they wanted to add a DLC Krogan. But next, nice. Now we should have two more. Yep, gain the loyalty of the professor. Huzzah! Ooh, I have four points. Quick go cryo ammo. Nah, I'll save it for just a moment. None there, none there. Only for me. Hmm. I'll see what I can, like, uh, do to grab others special powers. Oh. But I guess we shall leave. We could try and talk with Rex and see how things go now. 
We'll talk to Frex, and then we will leave. Uh, especially because... Again, don't know if I might get thrown into a mission at any point. I fear it, at all times. Woo. Based on population profiles, Clan Erdnot has adopted surviving members of Clan Werelock, mostly women and children. Ah, intelligent move. Surprising from Krogan. Glad to see it. See, they can surprise you. But yeah, personally, something like the Genophage, like, if you absolutely wanted to make sure, like, I don't know tested it, but at the same time, if they really couldn't, they had to worry about the rebellions. Very hard to de uh, decide overall. You just can't help making trouble. No one has killed a maw since my turn in the right. Next, you'll tell me he's a Clint and craps dark matter. Guess that's what it takes to replace me. Not grunt. Welcome. Hmm. Tell me about your work. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We're making an it's a new day for the Krogan. We shall rise again. Well, we'll talk later. I need to go. Hunt well, Shepard. I wanted to see if we had anything to say about Warlock. Barely survived the maw during my right. Guess that human's got a quad. Wrong way. For some reason. Not with us now. We're willing to consider a new direction. That's what makes you can earn not strong. But now I have two more loyal members. Beyond just the DLC. They're my... And uh, depending on what happens next, I Something think we might do office. one more loyalty mission. Well, back to the Normandy. Ooh, and we can also see about talking to people. See if people want to talk. More loyalty missions to gain. We can definitely talk to Thane and the Justicar. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Woohoo! Looks like we're at the point where I can go where I want and do things. Grunt's Commander. Damn it, I hate these things, but you need to hear this. You're part of Grunt's Krunt, and you're his leader, so keep him alive. Here, I have to stay polite, play the role, but our people are dying. Krogan have always valued survival over tradition. If we're going to survive as a people, we need your Vakrum Grunt. Okir was a madman, but he was a madman with a plan, and that's more than just most of this ball of rock. So bring him back from your damn mission. My people need him. And if you all get killed, I'll piss on your graves, shaman or not. Detective Anya. Greetings, Commander. Not completely sure this will get to you, but thanks again for helping me deal with Samara. The Eclipse Mercs have gotten real quiet around here, and my superiors have backed off too. No idea if the two are related, but hopefully the next time I meet a Justicar, I can give her the respect she deserves. I still can't believe I worked with a case with one of them. You're a lucky human. If I find any more data on her target, I'll pass it along. Thanks, Detective Anya. Woot woot. All right, first we're gonna check out stuff, and then we'll uh, talk to Morton, see what he has to say, because we fix things up. Shotgun damage, good, just overall. Prototypes, advanced training, heavy weapon ammo, Krogan Vitality. Hmm. I can go crazy here, because it's... Advanced training, I want to see. Takes a lot of element at zero, but we have a lot of element at zero. I can either do... Fortification. That's weird. I guess I can't do it because I don't have the biotic power to do his thing. So I'm going to take fortification. Shotgun shield pierce. Sure. Biotic cooldown. Grab that. And now I can go... Level up that a little bit. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me. Betrayed my work. Disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Hope he finds something new. Better goal, better purpose. Fewer torture tests. Hmm. You're awfully relaxed. You're really at peace with what happened? 
Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Salarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. Hmm. You don't feel anything? So you really don't feel bad at all about what happened on Tachanka? Yes, correct. Now at least. Greatly distressed at the time. Stages of grief, loss, anger, rationalization. Dealt with it. Most issues settled on Tuchanka, some on shuttle back to Normandy. Hmm. Malin wasn't like that. Malin didn't seem like he processed his emotional response. He was obsessed with the genophage. True. Didn't mean to imply that Salarians were healthier emotionally. Can still make wrong choices. Bad decisions from grief, anger, guilt. Malin couldn't accept feelings. Made decision. Executed. Probably before I left for Omega. Wish I'd seen it. Salarians still feel, just resolve it quickly. Explains lack of marriage, can't sustain courtship emotions, or perhaps based on reproduction. Unsure. Hmm. And what about the research? What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tujanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later? Indeed. Let's see. Wishes to speak to you in a debriefing room, Commander. And I'm not going to go there just yet. I'm talking to all my people. And we can just go and do missions. Probably. Shepherd, Maybe. What can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. It seems like my old crew. Like the two that came back. That is something funny. Of the old crew to come back as crew, it's like the two that I liked, which is hilarious. Heard not grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me, it makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. <laughs> we did this to calm you down. We started this because you were losing control. Now you sound more violent than ever. <laughs> Rex said I was normal. Just had this built up stuff because of being grown in the tank. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard. And we better not run out of targets. Someday a little end, it has to. I'm not planning on living like this forever, Grunt. Talk like that and it won't be your choice. I'm sure as hell not quitting with a whimper. Just so you're clear where we stand. Always nice to get a little bit of Paragon for these conversations. Let's check up on uh, my two favorites. So, Gabby, what do you think of our new Quarian boss? Hush, she's right over there. <laughs> ah, she can't hear us with her head in that bucket. Hey. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful bucket. <laughs> the whole suit is lovely, quite snug in all the right places. You know I can hear you. <laughs> Nice that the other humans get a bit more personality. Hello. I'm glad you came. Loyalty mission? I should I have asked ask my help. secretary. That is not easy for me. Take your it's time. Right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Hmm. Urgency. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Important. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. Yeesh. It is the most important thing in my life. And the reason I became a Justicar. Location. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife. Oh. Which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. Mate, no. Uh, at first it's like, no. Not the queen, pirate queen of the Omega, but no, she could be gone in a month, so. More than likely, not the pirate queen of Omega. I keep forgetting her name. Ari. She is an Ardot Aria? Yakshi. It is a term from a Especially dead because, dialect. Yeah. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. 
She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. Hmm. Why the special name? So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? <laughs> Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Hmm. Obscurity. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morin. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. Is it wrong to want freedom? I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic mm. one. Compulsion. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. Ah. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. And she can't. Killing because of genes. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. Hmm, that's too extreme. They have to choose between prison and death? It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. Hmm. But overall, I can see why she is dangerous. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. Let's go get her. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. Any others? You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. Huh. It is as it sounds. Morinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free. But selfish. Well, I'm sorry. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault. And my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. Tell me more. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. That must have been hard. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. I understand. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter and kill her. We'll get her. Go find Morinth. Yeesh. Now, uh, let's see. At least I got a fairy gun for it. Oh, yeah, I forgot the life support's down there. And of course, talk to my favorite Garrus. More than likely, you know, I think I see where this is going. The ones that we got first are the ones that we are likely to be able to do first. Then the ones that are from the old crew will be last, potentially. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've oh, never something. mind. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. 
Sidonis was seen with him. Trail. What happened? How did Sidonis? We already know this. He tipped off the murk. He drew me out, but by the time I got back, there were only two survivors. And Sidonis himself. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. That's what you want? You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. I'll do it. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Always for an old friend. We're gonna go ahead and do that then. Since we don't have to immediately go and do the mission, I feel free to do all these. Especially because I don't know what the goddamn mission will throw at me. Remember? I still remember goddamn... Where'd all my fucking fish go? Hmm. Let's see. This one's already increasing ammo and shields. Increases hell. Storm speed. Still gonna go up this. Increases shields. Increases health, increases shields. Increases spare ammo capacity. And then this, which is weapon damage, shields. All in all, since it doesn't really seem to have done much for my. Like, I haven't noticed the actual ammo doing anything, so. Bah. We'll go things that matter a bit more. Melee damage, I don't care. We'll go keep this. And apply. Hello, my darling. Squeak. Alright. Next, we're gonna go back into engineering so I can talk to our deer. Wait, is he down here? Where is he again? Where is life support? I'm dumb. Life support, here. Hello, Thane. Do you need something? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Drell on Hanar. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. You know a soul name? I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. I didn't even know they Most had soul names. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Hmm. Your religion. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emonkira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, Goddess of Motherhood and Protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, Goddess of Oceans and the Afterlife. You're polytheistic. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. And oceans and afterlife. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life. Yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land. Accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. Interesting. Well, another topic. There's something else I'd like to talk Ask. about. I want to talk about you. To talk. Certainly. You're not a typical assassin. 
If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. I Maybe. haven't trained my body for this role since I was six years old. Hmm, six. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. <laughs> they were training me. So you were basically from the Naruto Hidden an Villages. Investment. investment? You were That's a child. Kind of cold. Not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. Definitely sounds like the frickin' way that the Naruto ninjas handed it. We will train these children to be murderers. The Hanar? Excessively polite? Worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water or fire a gun? <laughs> what did your parents what did your do? parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the compact. It was an honor for our family. The compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the compact. Hmm. Extinction? Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. Huh. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's your world like now? What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, then the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakona died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. And compact. What exactly are the terms of the compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. It doesn't really sound like slavery. I mean, he's out here doing things of his own volition. But we'll do it anyway. This for can't conversation. Be they made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can That's what I expected. To serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. Hmm. Who do you work for but now? You don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... A laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset-colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drells slip into memory so easily. What was that? Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Fine enough. Always nice to talk to people. Well, back to the combat information center. We'll go. How may I help you, Commander? How's the crew? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be Take all. Take care. I wonder how many changes to Mass Effect 2 there were. Like my proposed idea that maybe they... I can go into the airlock. That doesn't sound safe. How are things in the cockpit? Commander, I assume everything is going well up here? Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. Yeah. I know. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. Hmm. Tell me about I service. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? Hmm. Building the Normandy. Cerberus I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Uh. Logging you out, Shepard. I wish I could uh, get more information on Eddie. Let's see. Where should we go now? We still wish that I could. Like, look at my goddamn journal whenever I want. We're gonna go ahead and save. Should 
Bop. Journal. Since. Huh, that's. Tell Chief Scout. Ah, oh, I forgot that. We'll have to go back and do that. Thank you, book. Wait for results. Let's see. I wonder if this is also a DLC mission. It's similar to the uh, Lair of the Shadow Broker, but at the same time, stop the collectors. It doesn't have an like thing. Jacob, duh. Miranda, duh. Jack, duh. Idiom, duh. Where it's like has a thing, but at the same time, it could. Nah, who knows. I guess I could do deliver the package. Go scanning. Well, actually, hmm. Uh, da, da, da. All right. I know what we'll do. First, uh, we're well. No, we're gonna go. Well, first Change we're gonna. Plans, Commander. Urgent message coming in from the elusive man. Pass him in through the comm room. Oh, I can't go do anything. Change of plans, Commander. Damn it. Never mind. We'll go do. We'll go do this, since apparently we can't ignore it. Damn it! I thought I could ignore it, but I can't. Ah. Never mind. I was gonna go back to Tachanka, turn in the mission. But fine, we'll do this main mission. I hope it'll be kind and not mean. I don't Shepherd, want to lose people. Shepard, we got a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a Your collector ship beyond the Coral system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hmm. The Turians disabled it. How? Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. Are the Turians if investigating? If out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. Because you want us to You're be there first. You can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. How do you hear of this? Are you sure this information is good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. All right, we'll Send check it out. Coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's I just hope this isn't going to be a Vermeer. Granted, I had an option to ignore Vermeer for a while. Oh boy. Main team with me. Hmm. Let's see. Into one of the following options attack drone, upgrades combat drones with electric truck, damages targets, health, armor, and biotic barriers. Limit is one active drone at a time. Explosive drone, I think I'll go for. Attack drone upgrade. Attack drone. Let's go. And pray to God this isn't the mission that I'm supposed to save everyone we from. The collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Luck. Or maybe they wanted to draw us in. Either way, this mission's gonna be frickin' terrifying until it ends. Ladar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no Mass Effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. Well, here's hoping that things go nice. All I know is that there is a mission that's scary. That is literally the only thing that I know. Also foreshadowing. 
a decent amount of foreshadowing that's like, make sure your people are loyal. And I'm only missing one person that I've yet to be able to recruit. Maybe they're DLC and like Arrival or Shadow Broker? I don't know. Everything else was dossier. And I assume it would be dossier or handed to me in a main mission. I love what they've done with the place. Looks like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your hard suit computer. Well, here goes the nightmares. And no matter how this ends, this will be the last mission for this stream. I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe uh -oh. the defense tower softened it for the Turians. The missing colonists might be aboard. If they're still alive. The collectors use these containers on Horizon, but these are empty. It must have been horrible. Trapped in these pods. Helpless. Completely at the mercy of the collectors. Yeah. Clicky click. Dead bodies. What happened here? Why would the collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around? They must have been used for testing. If they were a control group, they would have been discarded at the end of the experiment. Maybe they're better off. There are worse things than death, like being a test subject for twisted aliens. I know you're right, but it doesn't make me feel any better. True. Friggin' horrifying. Not to mention, I still remember that abomination that had a bunch of skulls in its mouth. I do not like this. Do not like. I swear That's to God. Were they experimenting on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyze Please don't be a virus. What do they find out? Is there something we can use in the data to give us an edge? These are only preliminary experiments, but they reveal something remarkable. A quad strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. The collectors are Protheans. Oh my god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean Shepherd. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic they look like the keepers. Are you sure about this? You think somebody would have picked up on this? No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta cluster, but there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer. So the Reapers did extensive shit to Protheans to make them the new keepers, maybe. This is a horrible fate. The Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop. No species should have to suffer through that. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Accurate and deadly anti-material rifle. Effective against armor, shields, and biotic barriers. Upgrades the... Oh. Advanced weapon training. Choose. So I could use assault rifles? If I did that? I'm trying to think what this would do. Because so far, no other sniper rifle has been good for me.
and having an assault rifle would be nice. Ah, uh, I'll get assault rifle. It'll be nice to have something cool. Hell yeah. Assault rifle time. Now I have a new fallback. I am down. Oh yeah, fortification. Weird that it moved my shit around. Let's see. I'll keep my Vindicator. Always nice to have more options. Look, on the ceiling, more of those strange pots. There must be hundreds of them. How many do you think are full? Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. Damn it. Caden will not be happy. At least I'm getting tons of money for this, so I'll be able to spend it, I assume. Yeesh. That, if you heard that high-pitched whirr, it was because power flickered for a moment, and that ticked off my uh, battery backup powered uh, power strip. It does that occasionally. This looks interesting. Damage protection, yay. Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked Edie to run an analysis on the ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. It's the same they damn ship? Match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. Please don't turn this into a suicide mission. I'd like more time to loyalty my people, please. But I feel like this is going to be a a trap. Kayla. They could take every human in the terminus systems and still not have enough to fill these pods. They're going to target Earth. Not if we stop them. Utterly horrifying. I don't like the bright light over there. I don't like that we haven't had anything to shoot. I don't like this open place. There, on the platform. Looks like some kind of control panel. And where are the bodies of the Collector crew? Careful, Shepard. Something doesn't feel right about this. This definitely doesn't feel good. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the Collector They're ship. gonna fucking take my crew, aren't they? The data banks. I feel it. Did it again. I don't want to be ambushed. Progress, I don't want the team to be ambushed. Please. Uh, that can't be good. We're okay. Everyone's all right, Joker. What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I don't like I this. I to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. We need a little help here, Edie. I'm having trouble maintaining connection. There's someone else in the system. Damn it. What's happening? Connection reestablished. I need to finish the download before it can override any systems. Then you'd better get it done fast, Dee Dee. We've got the incoming hostiles. Yeah, uh, bringing a husk over, aren't they? Got trouble. Unit 
ready to heal. Incinerate. around even more. But yeah, I do not like this. This feels very much like Vermeer. Oh. Dang it, I want to run back. Get out of cover. Okay. Only no, this feels worse than Vermeer. I had a base of operations. I have regained control of the platform, Shepard. Good work. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. I don't like this. That makes sense. It seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. No, it is unusual because Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? We've been played. I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? I want to say he betrayed us. Don't jump to conclusions. We don't have time to throw blame around. We'll question him when we're up. This is a bad time to become an Optimus, Shepard. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The Collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. Do not like this. Besides, it doesn't make sense that they would spend two years rebuilding me just to send me into the plum of darkness. Overall, this is looking very bad. have no need of glass. Surely. Die. Seems a little bit like overkill that. I will direct this personally. You wish. Because of 
sold me out when he needs me. Unless he somehow got compromised. I don't know how he'd get compromised. And this is why we don't go into... Shit. I had my shield and just like, oh, I'm gonna kill you now. That's not I'm gameplay. Bullshit. I do not like that. That is a bad game design. Oh, hey, an enemy that walks towards you in a cover based shooter, and when it does a thing, it can just kill you instantly. That is bad game design. I'm Screw you. So far. Mainly because it's made to suck up your super powered weaponry. Edie, 
We've got a problem here. A temporary setback on firewall 3217. Rerouting commands through firewall 7164. Can do. I have successfully opened a door on the opposite wall. Never mind. Keep it open as long as I can. I hope you're not betraying me too, Edie. That's when we came in. We must be getting close to the end. This is valuable. But overall, still scared. Enemy! Utterly horrific. And so terrified, I'm gonna save after every combat. All I need. Commander, I hate to rush you, but those weapons are about to come online. Might want to double time it, you know, so we can leave before they blow the Normandy in half. Firing a high impact shot! Why do they have to be? Burn. What the goddamn game? I said this. Shuttle. You heard the man. Everybody onto the Normandy. Move. Please. Don't be hurtful. Strap in, people. I'm gonna make them work for it this time. Hopefully, all our upgrades work well. Did you go in front of the gun instead of the engine? Anywhere. Anywhere that's not here. Engaging Mass Effect Core. Oh, he actually got away. Hopefully. Elusive man gathered a valuable intel regarding collectors and Omega Four Relay. With Shepard's escape, Harbinger knows our true capabilities and will have to adopt new tactics. We'll have to be careful as Harbinger's information network may rival Cerberus or Shadow Brokers. Also appears impossible to block his ability to possess minions. Ed Edie's work was exceptional, however, proving value of shackled AI. I can now assault rifle training. Assault rifle training. Damage protection. Hell yeah. But I'm gonna want answers, elusive man. Complete the investigation of a derelict alien vessel. Elusive man, Commander. I figure you've got a few words for him, too. Okay, that wasn't as terrible as I thought. It appears 
nothing bad happened overall, but I guess it depends what happens after this. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Hmm. I knew I couldn't trust you. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give but the enemy to But it used Cerberus diddly -dee. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the collector homeworld, and you and You could have just told us well that it, they were trying to trick us into a trap, a trap and I then we could have gone in knowing it was a trap. And don't forget Edie. The collectors couldn't have anticipated her. Hmm. You're invested in me. Why lie? You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. Hmm. I'd have found another way. I don't risk people. There were always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Barely. He confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. Hmm. A little late for that info. I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it. But we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. Huh. So, weaponized mass effect? A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. Yeesh. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Brown dwarf? Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. Disabling a reaper. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. Alright, what's the catch? I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I better be able to put this I'll off forward forever. Coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. You're awfully paranoid. The only reason he didn't tell us is because ooh, they might have found out. He could have, I don't know. So the elusive man didn't sell signs. Could have fooled me. Lied to us, used us, needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. Mm. In the end, I agree, but meh. There really wasn't any other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. In the center, of course. That can't be right. Hmm, it has to be. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction, space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. Hmm, Sovereign did. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy, and we've all seen what their masters are capable of. 
They built the mass relays in the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. We need to build our team. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later, we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. Hmm. Stick with building a team. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. You're not shoving me into another mission. I ain't want to do missions, but that not that mission. Acquire Reaper IFF. What? Renegade? Damn you. I always hate getting those pop-ups later on. But yeah, gonna quickly grab various upgrades. Sometimes when Shepard goes down, they'll instantly be fully restored. Just upgrade everything that we can. And now we can do as many missions as I want, hopefully, since it says, hey, go Commander, do this. You received a new message hopefully. At your terminal. I don't want there to be any hidden things murdering me. Back from female camp. Dear human, the clan leader told me how to get in touch with you. I don't remember much of what happened, but the chief scout said you pulled my quad out of the fire when I got caught and poisoned over the Whirlock camp. Thanks. Next time I have a chance to kill a human, I won't. Unless I go into a blood rage or something. I got to go to female camp after I recovered, and it was pretty good. I was actually thinking of joining the blood pack before this happened. I think I'm going to stay here instead. It's nice that you're alive. But yeah, that's enough uh, excitement for me. Uh, but next time, considering we have a standing major mission... What? Treason. Okay... But yeah, since it's acquired that, and it's a standing mission, I can do whatever I want, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. So yeah, uh, I'll go talk to Tally, and then we'll end. And then next time... We'll just go about doing whatever. Loyalty missions, side quests, maybe even uh, the help the Alliance, or maybe even the Shadow Broker thing. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I will help I you just whatever. I received a message from the Migrant Fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. What the hell? I'm scared, Shepard. They're crazy. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. What are the charges? Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. Hmm, so what's the next step? What happens when a quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board. And didn't she mention treason is one of the few things the Admiralty Board does? Admiral like federal super duper? He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. Nature of charge. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. Punishment. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. Exile's an odd choice. So no prison and no death penalty? 
We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. How common is How this? How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vasilani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. And what happened to her? Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. Draw the procedure. Trial work. How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're a family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. I'll help. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. Always have time I'll for you. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. You know what? Screw it. We're doing this now. Most little things like this don't seem to take too long. I think the longest was... Perhaps... Anything else? You had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. Thank goodness for AI. Thank the entire crew. <laughs> yeah, I'd say Edie saved us. An AI on board is proving to be very useful. The elusive man made sure Edie was installed for this mission. Now I see why. Anyway, how may I help? How's the crew? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right. Anything else, Commander? I'll be here if you need anything. We are heading right there, right now. Oh yeah, more star thingies. We'll deal with them later. Help tally. Right here, right now. I was gonna stop after the one more mission. But this is our mission. Double star. Saving, going in. For tally! Because screw them. A fleet of 50,000 craft holding, holding over 17 million quarians. The Migrant Fleet is the largest array of spacefaring vessels in the known galaxy. Though Quarians on pilgrimage have visited most settled worlds in the galaxy, few outsiders have ever stepped foot inside the Quarian ships. Garrus, when you with me? Old team, we go. They better have good reason. Or rather, I hope that they're horribly terrible and I can dismantle them. This is Talizora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flagged as Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. Oh, maybe because we saved the guy, he'll testify. Captain Shepard. Tally Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. Hmm. I owe Tally a great deal. 
Telly helped the Normandy's crew out of many difficult situations. I'm here to return the favor. I understand. As the commander of the vessel she serves on, your voice carries weight. I wish I could do more to help Tally. The trial requires that I be officially neutral, but I'm here if you need to talk. They're charging you with bringing active get into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active get aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. What do we do now? Let's deal with that later, Tally. What's our next step, Captain? Technically, I'm under orders to place Tally Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tally, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. Well, at least some people know, like, are nice about it. You should speak with Admiral Ra. She's waiting for you. I can't believe they're charging Tali Dora with such a thing. I got Paragon. Tali Dora can't even get his body and captain to stand for her. She's as good as convicted. They literally ordered the captain to stand neutral. Tali Zora vs. Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Auntie Ron! <laughs> Aunt. Shepherd Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaron Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I'm afraid I did, Tally. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. Hmm. Are you part of the trial? You're an Admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tally and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tally. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. What does her name matter? I take it being associated with the human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tally. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zora Vasnima. Whatever we must call you legally. Well, we should I guess go we should get started. Does Tali have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So... You would actually speak for my defense. I'm on. I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. I could not ask for a better. I talk down a Krogan from into destroying no a, a Junovage cure. I can do this. About. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. Like she said, it is just kind of a family meeting in a garden. After I helped so many Quarians. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us alive. The accused Tali Zora Vas Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Well, you shouldn't have stripped her of her ship name. Then you not have declared yeah. of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Tally's captain, Shepard must stay. You made your choice, jackass. Objection withdrawn. Shepard vs. Normandy. Your crew member Tally Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? It's my pleasure. If it helps Tally, I will. 
but in her heart she remains Talizora Vas Nima, a proud member of the migrant fleet. I regret that our captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. It is a simple... Lie to them if you must, Zalcoris, but don't lie to me and expect me to stay silent. The human is right. Huh. Admirals, please. Shepard's willingness to represent Talizora in this hearing is appreciated. Already sowing Tali, seeds of you're doubt. you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? Hmm. She couldn't have done this. How could Tally have brought guests to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tally isn't accused of bringing back entire units, only parts that could so they're not active. reactivate. But I would never send active guests to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? We need oh, to help. Kila. I appreciate the need for this trial, Admirals. But right now, our first concern must be the safety of the migrant fleet. The Normandy stands ready to assist in whatever capacity necessary. Thank you. Quarry and strike teams have attempted to retake the ship. So far, without success. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile, I'm looking for my father, you bastard! You intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. We must. With your permission, Admirals, yes. The good of the fleet must come first. And Tally needs to find her father. Agreed. And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is clear to these charges. We can discuss that later. Then it is decided. You the middle one sounds like a complete asshole. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. The shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been so, killed. So, this is interesting. Who the hell restarted the Geth? And what happened to the guy that we saved back in the Red Giant? Like, old Corian world. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. Are you alright? How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... He could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard, and I need to find out. Hmm. Should we talk to people? Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Come on, let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Whatever get Well, I'm definitely gonna talk to people. I have likely built more of themselves. Expect heavy resistance. You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Alarai. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. You went too far. I know you're trying to help her, Admiral, but that was over the line. She has nobody else to speak for her, Shepard. I am doing everything in my power. That's what her father would have wanted. Don't say it like that. He Wait, still be I just noticed the ship. voice. Of uh, Shala. She reminds me of uh, uh, 
the captain lady at the beginning of Arcane. What can you tell us about the Alarai? I wonder if it's the same Not voice much, actress. I'm it's hard to tell over the... Only said that he was no, I think it's her. Technology. He told me only that he needed any Geth parts or pieces I found. I assumed he was testing weapons on Geth components. We knew nothing until the Alarai sent a distress signal, then went dead. We didn't even know about the Geth until a boarding team was attacked. So we have no idea. You're saying there's no data about the inside of the ship. That's exactly what I am saying. The Marines who survived and escaped saw bodies in the halls. We must assume the worst. No, we don't. Relationship with Rael Zor. How long have you known Tally's family? Since before Rael was an admiral. 25 or 30 years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. I was sick for a week, but it was worth it. I was the one who took Tali from her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. Hmm, what kind of bubble? I don't understand. You put your children in bubbles? Hmm. Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. There's a celebration when a child gets her first suit. It's a coming of age. What about I'm Tally's not father? About Rail's involvement in Tally's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Hanshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told Shepard about my father. If you say so, Rail was committed to the Quarian cause. That didn't leave him a lot of time for his family. He wanted to give Tally and her mother the home world, or a strong fleet at least. That was how he showed his love. Necessary evidence. What kind of evidence will carry weight with the admirals? Tally, you admitted to sending Geth's parts to your father for his project. Yes, but never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. Admirals in There seem to be some other arguments going on among the admirals. You caught that. Yes, the guest's presence makes this a touchy issue. The Admiralty Board is trying to determine whether to focus on colonial development or attempt to retake the home world. You're thinking of war with the Geth? I am not, Tally. But others are. That's a bad idea. I know the migrant fleet is formidable, but even you can't take on the Geth. We grow oh, tired no. of the Eden Prime glitch. No. We what? want our world back. Well, we have paid enough for our mistake. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm telling you which way the wind is blowing. It's entirely possible it might have just been my headphones desyncing. Blah. Bloody technology. Well, goodbye. We should move on. Good luck on the other. The only reason I knew it wasn't the Eden Prime audio glitch is because the audio bars on my uh o OBS was still going. Tally. I'm glad Admiral Ron got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And your Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarel Vasnima. You got Admiral Corris backing up worse than a Krogan toilet. I'm glad to see Tally's captain knows how to handle a courtroom. Hmm. So you're on Tally's side. I get the sense you're inclined to believe the defense. I'm glad one of the judges is. If you were only giving Rail an active equipment for weapons tests, I've got no problem. We need to test weapons against Geth material. I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. Lab ship. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Nothing good. We sent some of our best Marines into that hellhole. Damn few made it back. Whatever Rail was doing, it blew up in his face. 
The ship is crawling with Geth. Don't go in expecting survivors. Admiral, my father, your friend, is on that ship. I know that, Tally. But if Shala hadn't suggested you might volunteer, we'd already have destroyed the Alarai. That's where we stand. Other admirals. Can you tell me about the other admirals? Anything that might help me change their minds about Tally? The one you didn't recognize Tally is Admiral Zen. She's on the fence. She takes fleet safety very seriously. On the other hand, she's always been in favor of studying the Geth. I hope she sees the benefits of Rail's research. <laughs> Admiral Chorus is the same whining suit wetter he always was. What makes Chorus so bad? You disagree with Admiral Chorus's policies, I'm guessing. Or is it personal? Man is a damn Geth apologist. Whoa. Thinks we were wrong to try to destroy them centuries ago. Hmm. He wants us to search for new colony possibilities instead of taking back the home world. Any research on the Geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. Wouldn't be surprised if he... Like, uh, caused this to you happen. You father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yaska during a bad Batarian raid. We were kids. Serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. A crew of ten, and six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge, and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Did what you happened? Save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked at me and said, We're underage. You can't charge us for breaking formation. <laughs> he took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes. Brass called us idiots. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <laughs> <laughs> That's rail for you. Admiral infighting. It sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the Geth for fun. He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know Father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the votes. We just need to give people hope for victory. That's a risky proposition. I hope the Quarian people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. He's got a point. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. Admiral Chorus. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Talia a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalchorus Vas Quib Quib. Do not ask about the name. Yeah. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. Do you have gravely you sound too British for my liking. Our fleet? Hmm. Lab ship. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Only that you should have let us destroy it. When we find the evidence of what Tali and her father did there, any hope of convincing the other admirals will die. I did not bring active Geth to the Alarai, Admiral. I know how dangerous that would be. I only brought pieces. The captured ship with its crew slaughtered by living beings in pain belies your argument. Dislike for Tally. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Saren are to be lauded. But like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. Admirals you and the other appear to have some disagreements beyond Tally's trial. You are correct. Tally, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. Railzora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Your favorite piece. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. My We've stance on the Geth is I've yet to find a Geth that hasn't wanted to kill me. For both groups. 
That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. Personally, I say you shouldn't do it under we favor of treason, on. though. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tony. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Personally, yeah, I stand on the thing that, like, I've yet to meet a Geth that hasn't wanted to kill me. I don't even think it's possible to communicate with the Geth. Shepard? How did you get onto the Raya? Shepard is here to help me with my trial. Oh, Vitor! Oh, yes, I heard about At the that. beginning of the game. Hope you didn't really do what they said you did. No, Vitor. I would never endanger the fleet. Oh, well, good. So, can I help you with anything? I mean, probably not, but you helped me. Hmm. Will you speak for Tally? Tally could use some friends right now. Would you be willing to tell the admirals how she helped you? No, I mean, yes, but I already did. They came to see me. I didn't want to talk in a crowd. Oh, that's fair. Vitor is doing well, but he isn't ready for a public speech just yet. I talked to them. So did that soldier, Cal Rieger. We both told them about how you helped us. I hope it helped. I'm sure it did, Vitor. Do you have Thank any you. information? Do you remember anything else about the collectors? Anything at all? Nothing new. I'm sorry. Every time I go back to that place in my mind, I... I... Vito, Understandable. Come back. It's okay. I want to help, but I can't. I didn't see anything, and what I remember... Don't worry, Vitor. We're going to find the things that did this, and we're going to kill them. Good. Well, Thank you. Feel better, Vitor. Take care of yourself, Vitor. Not many could have gone through what you did and come out sane. I know. I didn't. But thank you, Commander. <laughs> It's only because of your help that I've come this far. Shepard spoke well to the admirals. Hey. Oh, Rieger. Rieger boy. Shepard, Talizora. Good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. Presence on Raya. What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Telizora. I've served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Can you help some Have out? you had any luck talking to the Admiralty board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Garrel are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but, well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank dark you. Dark energy. You said that your mission had something to do with dark energy. Right. Remember the damn sun on Haystrom? Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation? The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. Did the Geth do, do you this? think the Geth are responsible for what's happening to Haystrom's son? Keela, I hope not. If they can screw up a star, our chances in war are even worse than I thought. I don't think this is the Geth. It would take massive time and resources to affect a star like this deliberately. It's too inefficient to be a weapon, and even the Geth wouldn't destroy a useful star system. Besides, they didn't show up until we did. <laughs> it might be the collectors. Right Synthetic bastards are bad enough as it is. Hmm, your health. How have you been, Rieger? You did kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. Fighting seems risky for you. With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Quarians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops, Tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly fast. Well, thank you. We should get going. Good luck on the Alarai. Stay safe out there. Admiral Zen. Tally Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. 
I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. <laughs> you owe Tally, too. Tally was with me. Saren and the Geth would have destroyed us all without her help. Your political machinations are transparent, Commander. They are also unnecessary. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. If not, then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. Hmm. Opinions on Geth. It sounds like your ideas about synthetics are in the minority. Yes, at least on the Admiralty board, Han Geralt sees an enemy that must be crushed. Alcorus would run away and hide on some new colony world. Shala Ran is still undecided. I had thought Rail to be firmly in Han's camp, but if his experiments were on active Geth, perhaps we have ideas in common. How does this change things? If we don't find Rail alive on the Alarai, what do you think will happen? The power balance will be disrupted. Han loses a vote for his foolish and self-destructive war. That would favor peace, then, as Shala Ran is too careful to risk her own neck. But, if the Admiral replacing Rail agrees with me, things could become very exciting. You think Rail was right? You support experiments on living creatures? Rail should have felt no more guilt experimenting on Geth than I did while performing surgery on a childhood toy. The fact that you performed surgery on your childhood toys explains a great deal, Admiral. <laughs> a ship travels faster than I can. With the right programming, it can choose locations, even defend itself when attacked. But it is just a machine. It was built for the sole purpose of serving its master, and it can be dismantled whenever its master desires. Hmm. Lack of interest in the if trial. If you're not interested in this trial, why not recuse yourself? And let that aging warship Han Geral and the cowardly Zal Chorus be the ones to chart this course? I think not. The broader purpose underlying the trial is too important. Tali Zora is only peripherally related. No offense intended. And what is the true purpose of this trial, Admiral? To determine whether Quarians should fear their past mistakes or reclaim their glory using our natural affinity for artificial intelligence. You study AI. So the only reason you care about this is because Rael might have learned something valuable from the Geth? Indeed. If he has, then even in this no accident, shame. we may find something worthwhile. No shame you from you. Do you want to create new AIs? No, Tali Zora. I wish to return the Geth to the control of their rightful masters. The Quarian race. You're insane. And finally, lab Can ship. you tell me anything about the Alarai? Little. We detected several communication signatures before the Geth jammed the comm systems. Given the likely networked intelligence requirements for taking over a ship, expect between 10 and 50 units. Then this can't have anything to do with me. I only sent parts and pieces and certainly not enough to make that many Geth. Well, goodbye. Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. I think I actually like you the least out of all the admirals. Overall, again, I'm willing to hear the Geth out because they were created. And they did want to survive. My father dead or trapped on the Alarai? My name stripped? How could you not tell me this, Captain? I'm sorry, Dali. I was under orders from Admiral Ran herself. I couldn't say anything. She wanted to get you onto the Alarai. She said that the Admiralty board needed to see your reactions. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Migrant Fleet's course. Who decides where the Migrant Fleet is going? That's a more complex question than you might think. The Conclave votes on where we're going, but the Admiralty works out how we get there safely. Avoiding areas of piracy, scheduling resupply, that sort of thing. Don't you have a say? Seems like you're cut out of the loop. Raya has a representative in the Conclave, like every other ship. But me, personally? I don't get a say in anything that happens beyond my ship's hull. If my crew doesn't like the way things are going, we're free to leave the fleet at any time. Of course, since the Raya produces about a third of the fleet's food, they try to keep us <laughs> happy. Fleet's current location. Why is the fleet here? A binary blue giant system isn't the most hospitable place in the galaxy. Not if you're looking for a planet to land on. We've been doing a lot of deep range travel. The bulk of the fleet is here to charge up using photovoltaic solar cells. 
We're running an ice mining operation at the Red Dwarf six light years off. They haul it here, and we melt it for water, or crack it into deuterium, hydrogen, and oxygen. And finally, guarding Normandy. Why'd you post guards outside our ship? Aside from the fact that your crew is Stomperus, technically it's under quarantine. Any accidental intership contact could sicken or kill our crew. Fair enough. We'll talk to you later, Captain. But how do we get to the... If Talizora is stuck with a human captain... Talizora and Mara are out of control. This is on their heads. Which way we go? Didn't see a door last time. I probably should have. But hey, we got more conversations. It's because I'm Commander Shepard. Off we go. To kill some Geth. Who knows? Maybe we find a Geth diplomat. Maybe he sounds like... Loyalty I don't know. It's about more than just killing Geth. Talizora is guilty. If Talizora is stuck with a human captain, at least it's an eloquent one. Take me to the Talizora ship. Talizora Vas Nima. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean Vas Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. For Admiral Rand's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard Vas Normandy. Hmm. Do you know what's over there? Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alarai? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many Marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of Geth, though. More than there should have been. There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, all right. <laughs> I mean that they're afraid Wait. the Geth are building... Or Was that a slip of the of tongue? ...from materials or what? on the Alarai. Well, we're ready. Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those Geth, Talizora. Keep us alive. This will be the last mi mission uh, I promise this time. The only reason we're sticking around is because I must help Tally. Tally deserves better. Look out! Funky's going on. And I honestly don't know who's behind it. It could be the pro Geth. Well not maybe not pro Geth, but down. Jerk. But yeah, something funky is going on. I really should look at these over before I start hacking them. They always show the first one available, and then I can study it and make sure. A repair drone. This is one of the storage units I sent to Father. Does it appear repaired? Like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Hastrum. Reason for selection. What made the part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order. Something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves. Signs of modification. Clues to their thinking. Shipping methods. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home and father would send a small ship. And finally, salvaging. Hastrum was a war zone. 
How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. Well, does anybody Did help? Did salvage gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got slapped. You sent something dangerous, or that father actually did all this. All right. Orange with two blue atop. Orange sliding to the right. Orange sliding to the right. Lots of green there. This should come in handy. Geth shield strength. Who's running the system diagnostic? I didn't authorize. Oh, Kila. How many get their networked? All of them. Rail Zora. Shut it down. Shut everything down. I was gonna say where, but... I guess that answers that. Still, what the hell happened? Did this all happen? I still think, like, it's entirely possible her father did something, but at the same time, everything I've heard sounds like it. He wanted to give them a home world. But at the same time, that wouldn't really describe bringing the Geth back online, unless he had a really good reason. Negotiating with the Geth, perhaps. That's the closest thing I can think of. Wanting to get to learn the Geth and get them to somehow negotiate? This console might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. What do you think of this? Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts, even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Were you aware of this? Did you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, Father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Anything useful? Could any of that data clear your name? 
doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the homeworld. Was this going to bring us back home? That's a bad idea. Maybe it's time for your people to let go of reclaiming your world from the Geth. You have no idea what it's like. You have a planet to go back to. My home is one whole breach away from extinction. It's still a hole. You've got a place here, Tali. Don't throw it away in a war you don't need. Don't need? Shepard, if I don't wear a helmet in my own home, I die. A single kiss could put me in the hospital. Every time you touch a flower with bare fingers, inhale its fragrance without air filters, you're doing something I can't. Damn the pilgrimage. Without it, I might never have known what I was missing, what we had lost when we lost our home world. Then find another world. Have the Quarians considered colonizing a new world? We'd have enough difficulty reacclimating to our own native environment. Adjusting for exposure to a foreign colony would be even harder. It's the difference between 60 years and 600. For anyone alive now to watch a sunset without a mask, we must take back our home. At the very least, we can take back one ship. <sighs> Come on. Overall, a very charged subject. I'm gonna check out this other room. See if there's anything in there. Hmm, they came out of it, but I can't go in it. Damn the Geth and your magics. It is a conundrum, but at the same time... Is retaking a world really... worth it? Damn... Fire you anyway. Where the hell do they all come from? You can't just reactivate this month much geth. Even if you use the materials on this place, I feel like there'd be too many. Hopefully, he's a good guy in the end, please. Tally, if you are listening, then I am dead. The guests have gone active. I don't have much time. How? Tell the us how. will be on the bridge. You'll need to destroy it to stop their VI processes from forming new neural links. Make sure Han Gerl and Daro Zen see the data. They must... Thanks, Dad. 
He did what he could. He did what he, he knew could. you'd come for him. He was trying to help you. It's not perfect. It's not what you wanted. But it's the best he could do. I don't know what's worse. Thinking he never really cared, or thinking that he did, and that this was the only way he could show it. It doesn't matter. One way or the other, I cared. And I'm here. And we are ending this. So, he really was trying to make a hacking program to bypass the Geth. To get them under control. And so he tricked Tally into sending as many Geth parts as she could without telling her exactly what was going on. Because he wanted to bring Geth back online in limited capacity to hack them, to learn them. But that doesn't explain why they grew out of control so quickly. You bastards. Clocked hostiles. Look I've sharp. Been saving this. What the fuck? But model flotilla ship. Take that, you bastards. This console is linked to the main hub Father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. Maybe we should it look first. Looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened, what Father did. Are you okay? You sound like you don't really want to hear it. No. We have to. I know. I just... This is terrible, Shepard. I don't want to know that he was part of this. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board, just to be safe. No. We're too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any political blowback. Leave Tally out of this. Assemble a new guest with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. He wanted to keep it his promise. Like he was doing this for you. I never wanted this, Shepard. Keela, I never wanted this. Everything here is his fault. I... I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the Admirals, not anyone. We need to use this. Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never see the fleet again? But I can't go back into that room and say that my father was the worst war criminal in our people's history. I cannot. Your father is dead. No, I can't say that. We'll see at the trial. We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the Admiral say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please. I honestly don't, don't know. What my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, I honestly don't know. Already dead. I have no None idea. Oh God, what do I do? Oh God, what do I do? Please give me a chance to save. Oh! I have no idea we what to need do. To face facts, there has been no word. There is no reason to think Tali Zora survived. Hello, bitch. It sounds like the hearing is already underway. We must trust you. Oh, I have no idea. Hey, 
Hey, bitches, Very we're well. back. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Objection. Sorry, we're late. You should pardon Tal. Tally Zoravas Normandy saved the Alari. I hope this proves her loyalty to the Quarian people. Her loyalty was never in doubt, only her judgment. Perhaps Tali Zora can offer something to encourage more trust in her judgment. Did you find anything on the Alari that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? I don't need evidence. Tally helped me defeat Saren and the Geth at the Citadel. That should be all the evidence you need. I fail to see what relevance. You're not really interested in Tally, are you? This trial isn't about her. It's about the Geth. This hearing has nothing to do with the Geth. You want people to sympathize with them. And Geralt wants to go to war. None of you care about Tally. She knows more about the Geth than any other Quarian alive. You should be listening to her, not putting her on trial. Tally Zora saved the Citadel. She saved the Alari. She showed the galaxy the value of the Quarian people. I can't think of stronger evidence than that. Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? I shudder the day gives me two blue options. It's like, choose! Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Oh! Thank you, Shepard, Shepard, for being a speech please man. Please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. Oh, what do I say? I say she's of me. With all due respect, Admiral, I didn't represent one of your people. I represented one of mine. So you did, Shepard. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Tali Zora of us, Normandy. Kill us alive. Because I have no idea about the war to choose. I can't believe you pulled that off. But what you said. You didn't want to use evidence, so I had to use words. I didn't speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when. Thank you. Hmm. You're not disappointed? We well, can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. But I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. And I didn't do this for real. Tally, about what your father said, what he did. You deserve better. I got better, Shepard. I got you. Let's go home, Tally. Come on, Tally Zora, Vas Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. We can use this. Let's see what things we got. 34 Paragon. Oh, yeah. Can I talk to anyone about the end? The Admirals thought they were hobbling you by forcing you to represent her, Shepard. I'm glad they were wrong. You didn't mention survivors. Did you find real Tali? I am sure he would have left you a message if it had time. Yes. We found Rail's body. He left a message for Tali. I can only imagine how horrible this is for you, child. But at least you got to hear your father tell you he loved you. Yes. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck on your mission. No matter how dark it gets, the fleet is always with you. Kill us a lie. You called us on the carpet out there, Shepard, and you were right. Thank you. Tally shouldn't have been involved in that argument. Tell me, though, honestly, what did you find over there? You spoke well, but I know a faint when I see it. Your call, Tally. Tally, is there anything the Admiral should know? We found a lot of dead bodies, Admiral. Including my father's, that's all. 
Whatever research they were doing was destroyed. I'll take your word for it, Tally. Not that I have much choice. Fight well and fly safe, kid. I'm not going to betray Tally's be trust. Of you. Garrus and Tally are the two characters I'd go full on renegade for. Very impressive, Shepard. Thank you for your help on the Alarai. And thank you for helping Rail Zora's daughter. You stood for her when we failed. We were wrong to let our own concerns about the war overshadow Tali's trial. Keep pushing for peace. The galaxy needs more people saying what you're saying, Admiral. Good luck. Thank you, Commander. Because in the end, if there is way to have peace with the Geth, I'm all for it. Just because I've murdered scores of them more than anything else doesn't really affect my Arthur opinion. Talizada was innocent after all. Hello again, Commander. Good luck, Tally. Nice talking, Shepard. Funny how it takes a commander to remind the admirals about military honor. Glad they're off your back, ma'am. And that you didn't have to give them that evidence you found on the LRI. I didn't say anything about finding evidence, Carl. Notice that, ma'am. <laughs> Where do you go now? Any idea what your next assignment's gonna be? Mm. I'm gonna be escorting more techs around to look for signs of dark energy buildup. Maybe see if they can figure out what's causing it. Wherever they send me, it'll have to be less exciting than Haystrom. Do you think they'll be your war? Take on the war? Are the admirals gonna try to retake the homeworld? I won't shy away from a fight, but if the admirals throw the fleet at the Geth, all they'll get back is scrap metal. The best bet would be for us to find another way. A soldier can't say unless his superiors ask. Good luck. Stay and goodbye. safe out there, Rieger. You too, Shepard. Ma'am. Carl, just call me Tali. I'll work on that, ma'am. <laughs> Very impressive speech, Commander Shepard. But tell me truly, did you recover any of Rail Zora's research on the Alarai? Nothing that will help you, Admiral. Pity. Oh well. Whatever is created can be recreated. At the In cost any of event, another ship. I am pleased that our talk regarding the war conundrum allowed you to help Tali. Her exile would have been unfortunate. Your ideas are wrong. You should abandon your plans, Admiral. They're only going to make the situation worse. We shall see, Commander. Many things are impossible until they are done. It's not about impossibility. The talk it's of about what's right. Hope. Maybe we can retake the whole world. But we have one more to talk to, and then we end the mission, and then I end the stream. Because the only reason it went this long is because I saw Tally. <laughs> Loyalty mission immediately went yes, yes, for Tally. Congratulations, Tally Zora. I was skeptical about your choice in captains, but I see now that I was wrong. Thank you, Captain. I'm just glad that this is over. You'll always have a place on the ride whenever you decide to come home. Good luck out there. Like I said, Tally and Garrus are the two characters I would go full-on renegade for. Paragon be damned. Tally Zora has been cleared of all charges, and her trust in Shepard ensures her loyalty on the mission. Political ramifications of Quarian war efforts against Geth are troubling, likely to need Quarian forces against Reapers. Cannot risk additional instability. Tally power unlocked. Tally, new outfit. Geth shield strength. Yay. Tech damage, credits, and palladium. Gain the loyalty of the Quarian. Fane would like to speak with you, Commander. Well, I was gonna go down to talk to Tally anyway. Well, first, messages, talk, and nothing. Good. Talk to Thane. Talk to Tally. End this stream. Wait, Thane's in the goddamn cruise quarters. I always forget where uh, life support is. I don't know, it's just like an innocuous Dora. It has like a mental field over it. Shepard. What's the matter? Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. Take your time. I've got time. Take it at your own pace. Thank you. I fear I've already done that for too long. Of course he has a, a weapon I rack. Family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolgat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. What was your last How meeting? How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some... It's Jacob's dad! He could 
dance crazy. Well, I think that was like 12 that years younger. Dance crazy. What sort of dance is that? It's. I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyak jumps into the room. I fought him. Runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads. He tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. Had a family. Did something happened to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic. No sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. That's not what I expected. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. I... Why didn't you take him? He's an assassin, Shepard. There's a reason he didn't take him, because he's an assassin. <laughs> if we're talking about this, he must have contacted you. No, he didn't. But my condition... I've been judging my life. Measuring what I've added and what I've taken away. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. He's become what? You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. So he lost when his soul. soul. Weakened by the Do we need to kill some cultists? Body is ill or injured. The individual is disconnected. No longer whole. Why is Kolyat disconnected? What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is. This is not a path he should walk. Hitman. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. Oh no. I don't know why he would accept the task. Because it's your job? Be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Hmm. The Citadel. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus Bankers store it, and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. How? I don't really know how. I did Are we gonna run into that the time Volus, uh, banker guy from the first there. game? That would be interesting. And why me? Thane, I don't have your contacts and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. The last time I saw my son, flashback I time. Body in sea lines, weighted it with stones. He tries to pull from me, calls for her. The hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled anew. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. More water. I could do without the overactive editing, but still cool. Sorry. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. We'll stop. We'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. And now, I think, is that all companions loyalty missions in the docket do? But now I'm gonna go talk to Tally. And then we'll finally end this. It was supposed to end two hours ago, but then I got wrapped up in everything. Keela, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. Hmm. Was that trial the norm? Are Quarian politics always like that? No. Sometimes it can actually get unpleasant. We're a very social people, Shepard. We have to be, to make up for being stuck in these suits. And part of that means getting involved in each other's business. Well, there. 
politics shift? I imagine they're trying to fill your father's spot on the Admiralty Board. What will that do to the balance of power? I have no idea. Being exiled might have made it easier. A few people are suggesting me as a candidate. Replacing an admiral takes time, though. You may not have noticed, but Quarians like to debate. You deserve better. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of gap. I should get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. Uh, it's nice to do a loyalty mission for Tally. Hmm, I guess I could check up on... It's been a while since I've talked to Zaid. I'll just forget if I don't do it now. Sure, it's not really talking. It's more like, hey, give me a story. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Talk to me, Tough sir. Fight on horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band while on her way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. Collectors and Protheans. It's all about my pay grade. I'm more used to putting down rebellions, tracking down bastards who didn't pay their gambling debts. Still, even I know a galaxy-shaking revelation when I hear one. Makes fighting land wars for pay seem small time. I should let you go. Talk more later. It's kind of interesting they decided to do DLC companions. Because they can't be integrated into the story overall, I guess. Then again, I haven't been using them because I have favorites. Shepard. Hmm. The squad. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Already heard that. Dead bunch. Anything to say? Just checking in. How you doing? I'm branching out. Got a list of enemies now. They all give me joy when I picture cutting them, crushing them. There's this one imprint, a Solarian, with the, what are they, the, the things on his head pulled apart? Eh. Bet it caused a generation of revenge. What is that, a few weeks for them? <laughs> so what did you want? <laughs> you even trying to get better? You know, I kind of thought connecting with your past would bring stability. <laughs> See, now we're having fun. Me remembering good deaths, and you <laughs> with your, your funny human thing you're doing. You're a funny man, Grunt. My job is to hurt things. Direction, control. That's your job, Battlemaster. You're why that was I'm a soldier. What the hell happened there? Not dead or there was a flash like of animal. frames. Thank you, Shepard. You gave me purpose. Now let's find something big to kill. Well, nice to talk to you. And I guess let's go talk to Morden. Because I'll probably forget to do that because. Brain will be like, ah, but we are. Oh, and also check on those upgrades. See if there's any upgrades. What you gotta say? No messages for you, Commander. But hey, uh, I think I remember saying something to Mass Effect One. Was like, man, why can't I just have like a thing that tells me if my crewmates want to talk? I guess that's kind of her to a degree. But I still like talking to him. Shepard, how can I help? Any upgrades? Any ideas on other ways to prepare? Sorry, for I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech now. Have you got anything to say? Talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. <laughs> Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean collector connection, can examine technology, chart reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Hmm. I'm interested. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental Basically, war gone, keepers. Like sensory input transfers, transmitting data to masters. Can they be saved? Is there anything we can do to help them? No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. No soul. Replaced by tech, whatever they were, gone forever. Understand now? No art, no culture, closer to husks than slaves. I wonder what Geth art would look like. Protheans dead. I mean, Collect they worship the Reaper insult. Sovereign as a god. Must be destroyed. Hmm, interest in art. You said the Collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. 
personal interest negligible. Sang a little, multi-species <laughs> productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. <laughs> but not about me. Cultural artistic expression. You're one of my favorite, Morton. You're such a funny little man. In growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. <laughs> Wait, you sang? I'm sorry. I know that was important, but you performed Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. <laughs> I studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics <laughs> as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. <laughs> That was great. Wait, you sang? Hopefully, it's not I like a continuation and not. I'm sorry. Nope. I know Dang it. Was a... My I've done it again. I'm a fool. I hate the skip. I hate the skipping button. It's also an activate button. I sent him into a song loop. He's gone insane. Their work, but it was people. an amazing performance. Hard to care about two armies, one wins, one loses, always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before, don't mean to imply that, just committed now. Won't let you down. Yay, and anger about modification. What is it about the collector's modifications that bothers you so much? Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Your fault. Our fault. You blame the Salarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight. Technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone, worked out aggression, been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Salarians came, disrupted Krogan culture, used well, Krogan I mean, as you were at war of, yeah. <laughs> Short sighted. You were at war with the Rachni, so there was a little bit of pressure there. Well, thanks for talking, Morton. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morton. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. Thank you for being a good man. Good Salarian. Go ahead and do upgrades since they are nice. Geth shield strength. Oh, good and good. Whew, but yeah. Once again, I find myself just utterly drawn into this game, and even when I say, oh, I'm only gonna go three hours, bam, 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 more things happen, and I go crazy. And then I go like, wait! Why is there a mission that says Tally Treason? And then I have to go and do it because Tally is an amazing character. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, but yes, this is a great game and I love it. I love it, I love it. Uh, but I think that will be it for now. As we have a main mission in the... the uh, I'm going to say the Belfry. Completely wrong word, but hey, you know. Uh, it's in the wings. It is waiting, which means I feel that we should hopefully have all the opportunity to go and do things like loyalty missions, side quests, explore the various star systems with the star charts that I bought so I can go look mainly for anomalies rather than uh, bibbidi bop uh, resources, because I don't really think I need all that many resources right now. Mm -hmm. But yes. Next time, we will go about doing side quests and loyalty missions. But for now, that will be all. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, I have other things like uh, two YouTube channels. One is an edited content YouTube channel that I swear is not dead. It is merely sleeping. And then also an, ed uh, an archive channel where all these streams eventually inter... Uh, why does my brain want to say interrupt when I mean to say they end up? Because, uh, just in case somebody wants to go and watch the backlog, or if I just want to go and re-download the videos for whatever purposes, uh, it's just a nice archival process over at Neon Icy Games, the other one being Neon Icy Wings. I think I forgot to say that because my brain has been fried playing this game for over five hours. But, uh, yes. Neon Icy Wings for edited content, Neon Icy Games for stream archival footage. 
complete unedited just there. And then I also have uh, other social media from which I post art that I draw. I need to draw more. Um, skills get sloppy, get rusty. But uh, I post to Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds, all of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. Uh, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed what you saw and will return later. But yes, thank you very much, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.